Now then, let us see. Now then, let us see. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. And it's perfect weather for planting our carrots. Perfect weather for planting our carrots. Have you finished? What? Repeating everything I say. Why? It's getting on my nerves. Oh, pity. And that's not all. It's time we did some work, too. It's time you did some work. Not you? Not me. Well, really. <laughs> really what? Well, we really must plant our carrots. Oh, you're right there. You really must plant our carrots. Right. Let's go, then. <laughs> Let's go, then. My rake, my spade, all my tools are in the barrow. I need some fertilizer. Would you like me to give you a hand? No, 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 no. Please don't bother. Do you mind if I come in? What's that? Do you mind if I come in? Can't you read, Zaza? No entry for cats. I'm not any old cat. I'm Zaza. Oh, it's all the same. Once I let a cat inside my workshop, I know I'll never find anything again. Oh. A junk heap, a shambles, a bear garden. I'm very tidy. Tidy, 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 tidy. Where's my fertilizer? In the cupboard. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. A big suck of it. Ah. That's it. Now I've got all I need. Let's go. No seeds, then. What did you say? I said no seeds, then. You need seeds when you're planting. You're right there. <laughs> I nearly forgot the seeds. Oh, my mind's wandering, eh? <laughs> now that the seeds are seeds. And now you've got everything you need. All right. Let's go, then. Let's go, then. Uh, that's it, we're off. We're off. The thing I like best about our garden is not having any neighbours. It's really peaceful. Oh, that's true. It's really peaceful. <laughs> oh, there's nobody here at all. That's what I call a pretty garden. A, a willow, an apple tree, and a nice round well. And there's a pond. They've got a pond, too. Oh, it's heavenly. Now, if I lean forward, I'll see myself in the pond. Oh, my hat's gone. My little hat's gone. I've dropped my lovely hat. Oh, little sticks. Did you hear something, Zaza? No. Oh, I could have sworn I heard something then. I didn't hear anything. Oh, well. Mm, I ought to be able to reach it with a stick. Oh, 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 it's just hopeless. It's completely hopeless. Oh! This time I did hear something. And I heard something too, Hector. Do you think you could have heard the same thing as me? What I heard was plop. So did I. Plop. But I happened to hear it twice. Plop, plop. We'd better see what it is. It came from there. <laughs> And if somebody's got into my garden, I'll, 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 I'll eat him alive. There's nobody here. Hmm. What's that thing up there, Zaza? It's very peculiar. Oh, it's round. Yes. And it's got a brim. Yes. Now stand clear. I'll shake the tree and get it down from there. Get what down from where? The thing. Oh, Hector, Hector, are you quite sure it isn't dangerous? No. Oh. <laughs> it's just, just a, a hat. hat. <sighs> it smells like the kind of smell you get from a kind of fish. Oh, don't talk nonsense, Hector. Hmm? You know very well fish don't wear hats. You're right there. And even if fish were in the habit of wearing hats, I really don't see how they could manage to get them stuck up a tree. <laughs> anyway, you've got nothing to fear, Miss Zaza. Even if this hat does happen to be dangerous, I'll always protect you. Thank you, dear old Hector. Oh, it's lucky you're so big. Yes, I'm a big old Hector. A great big puzzled old Hector. make sense. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It's a mystery, and I'm not a bit fond of mysteries. Hector, 
Peter. What's the matter? I just think you ought to know you've started talking to yourself again. But I'm not talking to myself, Miss Zaza. I'm just thinking, and I would very much like to know how this hat here has got into our garden. Not a soul in sight. I do believe they've gone out at last. So now's my chance to get my favourite little hat back. Oh, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Here, go. Right now, let me think. We've found somebody's hat. Unfortunately, we don't know whose it is. Now, where the dickens has it got to? <laughs> You've got it on your head, Hector. On my own, oh, so I have. Here's a little hole in the wall. Very handy for getting in next door. That's where they store all their things. Maybe they put my hat on one of the shelves. No, it isn't in there. It's not in there either. Oh, 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 how fascinating. Some pliers. And they've got one of those, whatchamacallits, too. Mmm, ah, little hat. Maybe they put it up there, little hat. I've got it. What have you got? Why, the answer. Some unauthorized person is in our garden. <gasps> what did I tell you? Someone's actually gone into my workshop without my permission. Do you think it's a rat? Oh, dear, 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 dear. Keep watch on all the exits. I'll go and get my gun. He said he's going to get his gun. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I am going to get my gun. Oh, I must get away. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, dear, dear, dear. There he is. Oh, I'm done for. Oh, a window. My only hope. Oh! oh I'm caught! Oh, my goodness! Oh, oh, oh! Whoever you may be, come out. Come out of there at once. I'll have you know I'm armed. I've got my gun. It's my hunting gun. Count one, count two, count three. Aren't you going to come out then? But I can't come out. I'm caught on something. Please don't shoot, sir. I surrender. Oh, Please don't Hector, shoot. Oh, Hector, it's a little frog. But you know frogs can't talk. They can. You can talk, can't you? You're right, I can. Look at her. She's ever so sweet. Oh. What lovely big eyes she's got. Oh, please unhook me from here. There. That's oh, it. Oh, let me go. Let me go. Let me no, go. Let me go. No, no. Oh, no, no. No, please don't try to run away from us, little frog. I wouldn't dream of hurting you. Now, what's your name? Kiki. What's that? Kiki. Ah, Kiki. What a pretty name. I think I'll tame her. It would be nice to have a little tame frog around the house. But I've been tame all my life. In fact... I'm a very clever frog. Oh, please excuse this poor dog. He isn't very bright. What do you mean? I work for the Weather Forecasting Bureau up in London. Oh, oh. congratulations. You won't be nasty to me anymore? Oh, no. And you won't threaten me with your gun again? Never. You'll always be nice to me? Yes. And will you give me my little hat back? Yes, of course. Then I'm not frightened anymore, and I'd like to be friends with you both. Well, then, Hector, old chap, I hope you're happy now. Delighted. I'm a great big delighted old Hector. Oh, and what's that then? Vesuvius. Oh, yes, the volcano. The Temple of Angkor, oh, Cambodia. It's beautiful. Oh. Yes, I know it is. You see, one of my grandfathers went to Cambodia. Oh, I know that. 
That's the Opera House in Paris. You don't have to tell me that, Kiki. My uncle used to sing there. Oh, and this is New York. Yes, it has. Now I suppose you're going to tell us your grandmother's American. What if she is? There's no law against having an American grandma. <laughs> Well, is there? Why can't I have an American grandma? Oh, come on, Kiki. There's no point staying with Hector if he's going to show off by telling silly stories. Come on, hurry up. Stories, eh? Oh, no, no. I'm not telling stories. There are branches of the Hector family all over the world. For instance, I've got a Scottish cousin. Uh, of not, course. Not the real one. Uh, a Mac Hector. But if you don't believe what I say, I won't waste my time on you. Do you think Mr. Hector really has got a Scottish cousin, Miss Sosa? Well... They'll see if it's true or not. I'll show them if I've got a Scottish cousin. Hector's really very angry. Oh, no, Kiki, he's just a bit annoyed, that's all. Well, Hector, where are you off I'm to? going out for a little walk. Bye-bye. Oh, but you won't stay out too long, will you, Mr Hector? No, no, I'll be back by tea time, you'll see. Goodbye, then, Mr Hector. Oh. Come on, Kiki, now Hector's gone out, we can have a nice time together. Oh, yes. Let's have another look at those postcards. If you want to, Kiki. Oh, yes, I haven't seen them all. Some of them have got pictures of flowers. Flowers? And some with birds. And here's one with a bird on. And here's another one. Oh! 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 What's this Hector doing here? Okay. Okay. Does Mr. Hector live here? It's a Scottish Hector. He must be Mr. Hector's cousin. Well, I never. Ladies, good day to you. Hmm? Can I speak to Hector? Hector? Yes, Hector. If you know, Ken, what I say, I'll repeat that, Hawkeye. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, what I said was, <laughs> I'd like to speak to old Hector, Hawkeye. You mean you you know Mr. Hector? Of course Hector. I know him. I'm a Scottish cousin. Hasn't he told you about me, Hawkeye? Oh, yes, 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 of course. But he's gone for a walk. Oh, not to worry. I'll play a spot of music while I'm waiting, Hawkeye. I'm so pleased you like the scurrile of the pipes. Oh, I'd be yes. obliged if you'd tell Hector his cousin called. Are you going to wait for him? Please, Denner, forget his Scottish cousin from Scotland. <laughs> He's missed his cousin. His cousin looks amazingly like him, doesn't he? Yes, amazingly. That's a nice tune you're singing. It's Irish or Welsh, isn't it? I seem to have heard it before somewhere. Catchy melody. Hello there. It's Hector. Mr. Hector's back already. I'm glad to see you didn't get too bored while I was out. Oh, Hector, what a shame you missed the visitor. Your cousin came to see you. My cousin? Which cousin? The Scottish, Scottish one, one, Mac Hector. Hector. Well, 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 well. Are you sure it was the Scottish one? Oh, yes, he played the bagpipes. Oh, well, mm. that proves I wasn't telling you stories now, doesn't it? <laughs> Are you sure, Hector, it wasn't you who came and played a little trick on us? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't me. Of course it wasn't me. Mother, look at this. Oh, they're the clothes he had on. Oh. Would you like to explain to me what these are, Hector? I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on, Hector, own up. We know it was you who called on us just now. Oh, no, 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 oh, It was oh, you, Hector. No. Oh, it oh, was no, no. You. no, 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 It was a great big Scottish mug, Hector. <laughs> I'll plant it right away now, that's it. Quick, 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 before Zaza catches me. Now then, let's see, where can I find a place to plant it? Um, ah, there. It'll be fine there, nice and straight. Now I'll go and wash my hands. Zaza's going to be surprised when she sees it. 
<laughs> Just what we needed in our garden. Oh, it's so heavy. Thank goodness I'm here at last. Oh, oh it's heavy. I'll plant it in a minute. Oh, where's my scarf? I've dropped my scarf somewhere. I must have dropped it in the road. I wonder what Zaza will. No, oh, my fir tree. Oh, I'm dreaming. I didn't plant it here. Must have dreamt it. I thought I planted it, but I didn't plant it. Ah, what? Two of them? Two of them? Very peculiar. No, I'm quite right. There's two of them. One, two. I must tell Zaza about this. Now, where she got to? Maybe she's in the cellar. Zaza? Zaza? Come and look at this. Thank goodness I found my scarf. And now I'd better hurry up and plant my fir tree. <laughs> Oh, my fir tree. I remember leaving it here. Oh, it must be Hector. He must be back home again. Hector! Hector! La, la, la. La, la. La, 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 la. Oh, no one here. <laughs> That's good. La, 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 la. I'd never have got through the hole in the wall with this fir tree. <laughs> I think I'll plant it close to the house. They'll be very pleased. They haven't got any fir trees. next to them. Hmm. There. Now they've got three little Christmas trees. And now I'm off. <laughs> It'll be a nice surprise for them when they come back. <laughs> I can't find Zaza anywhere. Oh, hello, Zaza. Right, no, 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 no. I've got Hector. something I want to tell you first. Come and see. Go oh, on, come on. What? Now there's three of them, Zaza. Tell me, Zaza, how many fir trees can you see? Hmm? Three. One, two, three. Well, then, if you can see three fir trees, it's not just a mystery, it's a miracle. A miracle? I say, Mrs. Frog, come and see. Something really amazing's happened. Oh, something amazing? You'll never believe it. You must see it for yourself. Right. I'll come at once. I want Mrs. Frog to witness this extraordinary phenomenon. Here I am, well, then. Well, I'll tell you. A few minutes ago, I brought a fir tree back here from the woods, you oh. see. Tree, did you? Mm. And I brought a fir tree as well, Hector. Oh. <laughs> so did I. And now we've got three Christmas trees. One for Hector. One for Kiki. And one for Zaza. It's not a miracle, Mr. Hector. No, it's not a miracle. Of course it's not. Oh, well, it's a pity, because I wouldn't have oh, minded yes, one myself. Mr. <laughs> oh. Look how bright they are. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Oh, very pretty. You see, ladies, we've got our miracle after all. Oh, it's a message from Santa Claus. Oh, oh yes. yes, and when he comes on Christmas Eve... He'll be oh, on the pretty yes. light. And it will remind him he's got to bring us some presents. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Don't forget us, will you, Santa Claus? No, no, Santa Claus. Trees, please, Christmas trees. Please help him to remember what we're all waiting for. On the 25th of December Oh, shine up to the sky Oh, shine ever so bright So Santa Claus won't forget To call on us that night He's bringing for me A big cuddly panda A football and new football boots And a chest expander I'm getting a hat a badminton bat A packet of stencils And a new box of pencils So, so trees, trees, miraculous trees Shine out as we sing Then all the presents we want Santa Claus is sure to bring To get all those things, Hector, you have to be very good. Oh, but I'm always very good. And when Christmas is coming, I'm great big good as gold, old Hector. Now then, let's see. A right angle. No, it's not a proper right angle. I'd never managed to make a right angle, which really was a right angle. Oh, that looks very complicated. Yes. Hector, what are you making? Is it your latest invention? Yes. Oh, oh, so you're there, then, Miss Zaza. Hello, Kiki. I was just coming to see you.
too. Let's go and play, Kiki. We'll leave Hector to his latest invention. What are you inventing, Mr Hector? Well, it's a rather complicated invention, Mrs Frog. A sort of gadget, really. A gadget, huh? Well, as we're not clever enough to invent things, we're going to have a game on the swing instead. Yes, let's play on the swing. And come in, Miss Zaza. Hurry up. Wait for me, Zaza. Let's see the swing. Of course, the swing. That's what was missing from my invention. Ah, now you're well on the road to success, old chap. <laughs> you're on to something big. Come on, Kiki, you have first go. I'll give you a push. Yes, but you won't push me too hard, will you? No, 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 of course not. Right? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. I've got everything I need in my workshop. Some bits of iron. There. Some pulleys. Hey, Mr Hector! We're, we're having, having a swing. swing! It's great fun! They're having a swing. They're swinging while I'm thinking. Little do they know. Have a good swing, girls. A really good swing. <laughs> They're swinging, but they don't know I'm on the brink of developing an invention that will revolutionize modern technology. Well, <laughs> this spot. Ah, and now weld this spot. Let's go and have a closer look, Kiki. Come on. Oh, yes. What are you doing, Hector? Are you having a firework display? Oh, no, Zaza. I'm doing a spot of welding. Oh, it's pretty. There. <laughs> well, that's finished. <laughs> there. Well, that's the hardest part, Darton. And now, dear ladies, I'd be very grateful to you if you could give me a hand with carrying all this. Yes. Could you help me, Miss Zaza? Yes. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, could you take that bucket, Zaza? Give it to me. There it there. is. Is that your gadget then, Mr Hector? A bit. The rest is at the end of the garden. Right off you go. All right, let's go. Right, I'll catch you up. All right, you can stop there. Yes, Mr Hector. But what exactly is your gadget, Mr Hector? A what's it? A funny what's it? Well, it's going to make a lot of money for its inventor. <laughs> really? You're going to make a lot of money, are you, Mr Hector? Yes, but my main concern is to benefit humanity. Oh. Yes, of course. Mr. Hector, ready? We've hooked all the pulleys on. What do you want us to do now? Hook the buckets on, too. There, Hector, we've done it. Ah. Ah. Right, that's very good. Now we're going to fix the machine in place. Come and give me a hand. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Hector. Ah, come on, now. There, 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 there. Keep there. at it. A bit more. There. Now, that's very good. Is it finished, then? Is your gadget nearly finished, Mr. Hector? We've just got to tie this rope to the other end of the rope. Pass it to me. There, there. I've only got one more thing to do, and my masterpiece is ready. Oh, there, that's it, Mr. Hector. It's all finished now. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Let's go back to the swing, then. No, you stay yes. here. You'll be able to swing to your heart's content on this. Oh. No, you get this bucket, Mrs. Frog. In the bucket? And you get in that one there, Zaza. Oh, this is fun. There now, then. Hold on tight. Are you ready? Oh, yes, we're ready. Hold on tight now. I'm holding. Look out there, and... Oh. Oh. Well, ladies, aren't you pleased to be taking part in the trial run of my great invention? Oh, no. Don't you like it up there? Oh, no, 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 we don't. We don't. It can't be helped. It's all in a very good cause. Oh. And now, ladies, start swinging. Oh. Go on. Oh. 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 Splendid. Oh. <laughs> it looks as though it works, just as I planned it would. It works. <laughs> and now you can stop for a minute. There. I think my invention is going to be pretty popular. <laughs> Oh, lots of people invent machines that do your work. I've invented a machine that gives you a rest. Oh, yes, I like having a rest. But, of course, I've had to work very hard to get it. I don't want anybody to get the idea oh, that I'm a great big lazy old Hector. <laughs> to spend our time in that's where all kinds of flowers grow and the climbers just keep on climbing there's a lilac that spreads its bark. just a moment miss Zaza. Hmm? would you mind telling me why you're singing well hector i'm singing because i want to 
I see. In that case, please excuse me. I'm going back to my kennel where it's quiet. Oh, Hector, you're not going back to sleep. No, Zaza, I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to think. I'm going to my kennel to meditate. So make sure you don't disturb me. Supposing Kiki comes to see us. Oh, well, you can just tell her I've gone to my kennel to meditate. All right. The only place I get any peace in is my kennel. Hector has just gone into his kennel. Oh. I wish you'd come and see me, Kiki, because I'm terribly bored. I'll be right down. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'll come and have a chat with you. And then, that way, you won't feel bored anymore. And nor will I. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we usually find something to say when we want to chat. <laughs> oh, yes, you're right there. There's plenty to talk about. The garden's a good subject. So are the flowers. Then there's the house. And our holidays, too. Not to mention the birds and all the animals. There's the rain and the sunshine. I think I'm ready to start. <laughs> oh, aren't you two ever going to stop chattering, then? You're driving me mad. Oh, you're so noisy, Mr. Hector. Oh, that's true, Hector. I can't see why you want to make a row like that, just because we're walking in front of your kennel. So it's me who's making the noise. I'm making a row, am I? Oh, well, Mr. Hector, when the fancy takes you, you're the noisiest dog I know. And you? You're a pair of chatterboxes. Oh, it would be interesting to find out which one of us is the biggest chatterbox. Well, it certainly isn't me. <laughs> Nor me. Nor me either. So you want to know who the biggest chatterbox is? Yes, Hector. Right. Yes, Sit yes. down on that chair there. Very well. And you, Mrs. Frog, take that chair there. Mm -hmm. uh, now, come and sit down next to me. Right. I shall sit in this chair over here, you see. <laughs> Good. Now, uh, to find out which of us is the biggest chatterbox, we're going to have a competition. A talking competition? No, a silence competition. I see. To win, you just have to be quiet. Well, I'm quiet. It's uh, very easy to be quiet. You just right. close your mouth. Right. Right. Now, the first one of us here to speak will be the chatterbox. Ready now? Silence. One, two, three. Silence! Mm. You spoke, Mrs. Frog. Oh, no, I didn't speak. I laughed. You're the only one who spoke, Hector. That's because I thought Mrs. Frog had spoken. That one doesn't count. What do you mean, it doesn't count? Of course it doesn't count. Let's start again. Right. Let's start again. Let's start again. Now stop yawning like that, the pair of you. It's not fair. You spoke first, Mr. Hector. You're the one who spoke. No, 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 I didn't speak. No, yeah, well, you're the chatterbox, Mr. Hector. You spoke, so you lose the game. No, I haven't lost. Oh, it isn't fair. You were just yawning on purpose to make me speak. If you hadn't yawned, I wouldn't have spoken. Oh. I'm certainly not a chatterbox. Oh. I can hold my tongue. Please don't get angry, Mr. Hector. Oh, come on, don't get angry, Hector. Won't you stay with us, Mr. No, Hector? No, I prefer my kennel, thank you. Oh, Mr. Hector, oh, please come back here. We want to play the silence game again. Don't you want to play the silence game, Hector? Please answer us, Mr. Oh, Hector. Aren't you going to speak to us then? Don't you want to show us you're not a chatterbox? Come on, Hector, say something to us. You know very well, Hector, you've still got something to say to oh, us. Oh, yes. I'll try and help you, Hector. Come on. Mm. Now, don't be so bad-tempered. All you have mm. to do is to say after me, I'm a great big mm. old Hector. Yeah. Mr. Hector, a great big old. A big old Hector. I'm blowed if I'll say it. <laughs> I'm a great big silent old Hector. So there. <laughs> Mm, it's dark. It's time I went to bed now. Oh, Hector, isn't the moonlight lovely? Oh, yes. I'm going to close the shutters tight because the moonlight always stops me from sleeping. Ah, oh, well, good night, Hector. Sleep well, Zaza. <laughs> Night. At night, 
night everything looks so different. Would you like to know why cats go out in the moonlight? It is to sing and to dance. In the evening twilight, they leave their cozy beds just to sing a song or two that they will have quite forgot when the day comes breaking through. A garden at night is such a lovely sight, and as a thousand stars gleam gently from afar, I see them softly shine. Kiki, have I woken you oh, up? No, I was out for a little walk in the moonlight, and I heard you singing. Shh, Kiki, don't make any noise. I love listening to all the sounds you can hear at night. Mm. What you can hear is all the little frogs in the ponds giving a concert. Really? Oh, yes. I'll explain it to you. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. Hurry up. Come on. And now, Kiki, tell me. Did you know that every night, just as daylight is daily, all the little frogs come out for an evening swimming and the noise that you can hear is the creaking of the plank they use as a diving board when they all jump off the bank <laughs> <laughs> oh we're much cleverer than dogs who aren't at all poetic oh we're much cleverer than dogs who always sleep like logs <laughs> I'm sure you must have heard silly tales by people, dishes running off with spoons, donkeys up a steeple. I dreamt I saw a cat dancing reels beneath the moon. I just thought I heard a frog who could even sing in tune. Oh, we're much cleverer than dogs who aren't at all poetic. Oh, we're much cleverer than dogs who always sleep like locks. Don't you know that after dark, under threat of violence, you are not allowed by law to disturb the silence? Only special birds can sing, hooting owls who never sleep, and the nightingale in Maytime, as he can't be heard in daytime. Ooh. Oh, we're much cleverer than dogs who yawn their silly heads off. Oh, we're much cleverer than dogs who always sleep. Like yes, of course I'm sleepy. It's the time for sleeping. It's only cats that don't sleep at night. Ha <laughs> and frogs as well. Oh, cats and frogs, they're all the same, as unnatural as each other. Oh, 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 come on, Hector. Now you are up for once. Come and have a look at the garden. Look at it. It's... I can't see a thing out there. Oh, well, there's the stars. Look, Mr. Hector, how beautiful they yes, are. Yes, there's the stars. They're not bad, but as there's too many to count, I think... What do you, what do think? you think? I think I'll go to bed instead. A garden in the night is not a pretty sight. The starlight in the skies just hurts my poor old eyes. I'd rather be instead all tucked up warm in bed. And so sleep warm and tight. Keep well and so good night. Good night, Kiki. Good night. <laughs> Cats may not sleep at night, but they lie in bed all day. I'd rather get up early myself. I'm a big old early rising, Hector. See? That must be Mr. Hector sawing up his wood for the winter. Yes. Are you afraid it'll be cold this winter? <laughs> well, you have to be prepared. You don't have to be a frog to know it's going to be cold this winter. <laughs> yes, you're right. It'll be cold. In any case, sawing wood keeps you fit. Come on, Zaza, we're nearly finished. Oh, yes, we're nearly finished now. That's it. I've come to see if I can help you. Too late, Kiki. I'm afraid we've just finished. Oh, well, all right. I'll go back home again.
Frogkin. Hey there, hey there. Don't rush off, Mrs. Frog. If you'd really like to give us a hand, I'm not the sort to refuse you. Oh, but Miss Sala just told me that... The... We finished sawing up the wood, but we've still got to stack it. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll help you stack it. All right. Is it all this wood here you want stacked? Yes, put it on the side of the house. Yes, 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 I know where. It's very nice of you to offer to help, Kiki. <laughs> there, one log. And there's another. Right, I'll put this away. It's lucky we're not slow coaches, isn't it? Mm, very lucky. Look here, you're not organised. Why not? Not organised? What do you mean by that, Hector? Well, if you took more than one log at a time, you wouldn't do so much running what? about. Here, hold your paws up. Now, this way, you can take one log, mm -hmm. you can take two logs, mm -hmm. you can take... Hey, you can take another. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Your turn now. Now, don't give me too many. No. One log. Ah. That's three more logs. Oh, Mr. Hector's quite right. That's it? There. Ah. Your turn, Kiki. There. Yeah. Now then, what do you think? Huh? Quicker, isn't it? Oh, yes. Off you go, off you go. <laughs> ah, but I can do even better. I've thought of something much better. Keep going without me. I've just thought of an idea that'll really speed up our work. Ah, there. It isn't very difficult to organize your work. You just have to do some thinking. But Zaza never does much thinking. Oh, these cats, not much up top. Here we are. Here we are. Oh. Here we are, Hector. Oh, you're there. Well, come over here, then. No, Zaza, not you. I'll start with Mrs. Fogg. Oh, is that basket yes, for yes, me? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. No, no, turn round the other way. I've made a sort of pannier. It's the most sensible way of carrying wood. Oh, yes, good idea. There, ah, all right? Yes, yes. Let's put another on. Oh. It'll take another one as well. That's enough, Hector. You can't expect a little frog to carry a load like that. Of course she can, Zaza. Mrs. Frog's as strong as an ox. Oh. Come on, your turn now. You see, when you know how to organise things, you can do much more work in much less time. Oh, oh yes, yes, you're right there, Mr. Hector. Oh, thank you, Hector. What we need is higher productivity. Oh, help me, Zaza. Coming, Kiki. There. Ah. Right, and now it's my turn. I must get organised as well. Now then, let's see. I've got to find some system of carrying a lot of logs in one journey. What new invention could do that? My wheelbarrow. Why didn't I think of it before? Well, well. That wheel's a bit squeaky, isn't it? Oh, it needs oiling. A drop of oil. Now then, what have I done with my oil can? There we are. That's another trip. Ah, oh, that's another trip. Come on, then. There. Ah, there. Just a drop of oil. And another drop of oil. There. That'll stop the squeak. <laughs> it's nearly all gone. I'll just fill your pannier, Kiki. Yes? That's there. it. Oui. Right, I'm ready now. Oh, no more squeak. There, that's it, we've finished. Oh, yes, it's all gone now. <laughs> right, let's go. Yes. Oh. oh, dear, we've worked hard, haven't we? Very hard. Fast and hard. That's our motto. <laughs> With my wheelbarrow, we'll get things done twice as fast. <laughs> oh, where's it gone? My wood. There was a great big pile of wood here just now. A great big pile. What are you looking for, Hector? That pile of wood. A pile of wood? We've just stacked mm. it all, Hector. Yes, yes, huh? Mr. Hector, we've taken it all away. Yes, yes. Taken it all? Oh, oh yes. you can't have done. Oh, yes, we have. <laughs> oh, really? I never expected that. Oh? You've stacked all the wood. <laughs> yes, it's all stacked. Well, I told you, it always pays to organise your work. Oh. I'm great big old Hector, the good organiser. <laughs> Where are you rushing to with this bucket of water? Hurry up, Zaza. Fill the other bucket. The other one? You want the other bucket filled? Quick, 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 quick. Oh, for quick, goodness quick, sake, hurry up, Zaza. Oh, it's heavy. Right, come on. Fill the other bucket. But what for, Hector? And why are you in such a hurry? Come on, hurry up. Fill it up. Fill it up and stop your arguing. All right. I really would like to know what Hector wants all these buckets of water for. I wonder what's going on there. Is it Mr. Hector making all that time? Hello, Mr. Hector. 
Hello, Kiki, hello. Come on, another bucket. There, Hector, I filled it up for you. Hurry up, Sasa, don't dawdle. Why are you rushing about, Mr. Hector? Is there a fire? No, there isn't a fire, Mrs. Frog. But if there was a fire, what would you do? Well, I... Yes, well, just tell me what you'd do then, if you don't mind. Well, I'd uh, dive into the pond. <laughs> She'd dive into the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Only a frog would think of that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I can That's assure you, funny. Mrs. Frog, you'd be better off doing fire drill with me. Fire oh, drill? Fire drill? Yes, you as well, Zaza. Oh. Come on, one, two, one, two, one, two. If you want to be a fireman, you've got to be physically fit. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, then, here's your helmets. Firemen can't do fire drill without helmets. Oh. Uh -huh. I'll put it no, on right no, away. No. One, Hector, two, old one, chap, I don't one, think you're two, very modern, one, are you? What do you mean, I'm not modern? Firemen go round in fire engines these days. Yes, so they can rush to the fire. Oh. Yes. Well, I've got a car, haven't I? Oh, uh... oh, you'll soon see if I'm modern or not. Come on, put your helmet on, Miss Azar. Yes, Kiki. And go and get the ladder and then the garden hose. Yes, yes. Quick, I'll get the hose. We're going to do fire drill just like real firemen. Yes, I'll get the ladder. Firemen always go ba 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 to warn you they're coming. Ba 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 ba. Oh, there she is with the ladder. Now hurry up, first class firemen do everything at the double. Oh, this hose is very heavy. What about me, Hector? What do you want me to do with this? All right, all right, don't get impatient. Oh, what on earth is that? It's red paint. That's red paint. Yes. What about my ladder? Wait a minute. It's red paint to paint my motor car with. Oh. All fire engines have to be red. <laughs> now, Zaza, give me your ladder and go and help Kiki paint my car. Oh, Hector. I, Don't I, argue with me. I'm the captain oh. and you've got to do what I say. Come on, Zaza. It'll be fun painting Mr. Hector's car red. Yes, yes. Uh, get a move on, will you? Now then, what's next on the list? Right, I'd better fix this hose up. No dawdling. Let's have a look at this hose. We're being as quick as we can, Hector. We're not dawdling, Mr. Hector. A fireman's got to be good at everything. A really first-class fireman's got to be very clever. Mm, there. That's good. What next? Mm, now I've got to fix that ladder. Do you want us to paint the bonnet too? Oh, yes, yes. I want it painted all over red, do you hear? Right. I want it to be red from bumper to bumper, Mrs. Frog. Oh, just leave it to us then, Mr. Hector. It'll be the reddest thing in the world. <laughs> Now, I must be very careful fixing this ladder. First-class fireman is very careful with everything he does. How are you getting on? Just another few dabs of paint and we've finished, Hector. Good. Well done, well done. There. Look how nice it is, Mr. Hector. No, no, I haven't got time. I'll take your word for it. Get in. Come on, Kiki. Quick, quick, quick. Hurry up there. First-class fireman is never late for the fire. Come on, hurry up. Yes. We're going. Yes. Come on, hurry up there. Get yes, yes, one. Ready? Ready? Uh, Never late. That's the motto of a first-class fireman. Yes, Let's go. Yes. You two look after the ladder. Yes, right. Leave me to look after the hose. Right. Mm. Oh. Ah. ah, my hose. Oh. <laughs> a first-class fireman always knows where the tap is. Now you hold on to that nozzle, Sergeant Kike. Yes. And you, Sergeant Zaza, I want you to stay at your post. Right, Captain Hector. The first priority for a fireman always is to work quickly. Oh, 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 quick! Oh, 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 well, you might just as well watch me, because I really am. The first class fireman. <laughs> exactly. I'm a big old fireman, Hector. First class. No. <laughs> where you found it. But I need this bell, Zaza. Then you should ask me for it. Well, if I asked you for it, you wouldn't have given it to me. Oh, really, Hector, don't start sulking. I'm not sulking. What do you want the bell for, anyway? I want to hang it on the gate. I've oh. got everything ready. All right, Hector. In that case, you can have it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll come and help you fix it up. Hmm? You really want to? Of That's course. nice of you. <laughs> but the next time, don't forget to ask me. See, Zaza, I've made a support. Oh, yes. 
There's a string you have to pull. Look at that. Yes, I can see. A handle, too. All you needed was the bell. And here it is. Oh. oh, now be careful. Hold me tight. Don't Hook let it on, me go. then. Hook it on. Ah, there, I've done it. That's perfect. <laughs> yes, that's very nice, Hector. That really is a very good idea. Ha, ha, ha. When someone comes to see us, they'll have to ring at the bell first. <laughs> yes, like this. No, no, no. Wait a bit. What for? What is it? We are going to give Kiki a surprise. Oh, yes. <laughs> she can be the first one to ring our bell. <laughs> Hello. Are you there? There she is. Shh. Don't say a word, Zaza. <laughs> I'm just coming over for a little chat, but I want to go and get my basket first. Won't be long. Quick, 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 Zaza, I've got an idea. But where are you off to, Hector? Hurry up, Zaza, I want you to help. Oh, yes. But, but Hector, what are you planning Shh, to do? be quiet. Huh? Go and get me that bale of straw. What's that for? Hurry up there. Now the barrel, uh, the barrel, I'll the barrel. Here's the straw. Ah, uh, not a straw in the back. There. This is to make Kiki go round by the front gate. Oh, yes, so she can be the first to use the bell. That's right. Here I am. Oh, dear, oh, dear. There she is, coming. Oh, now. Quick, let's wait for her at the gate. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I can't get through the hole. How could this have happened? <laughs> oh, I, I just can't believe they blocked up my hole on purpose. Oh, it just isn't possible. I say, Hector, I've had an idea, too. We don't want Kiki walking in without using the bell, so I'll bolt the gate. Oh, yes, 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 that's a marvellous idea. There. Mr. Hector, I see Miss Zaza. Not a sound, eh? Mr. Hector, I see Miss Zaza. Hi, Zaza. Oh, yes. Oh, they must be there. I saw them a minute ago. Oh, I'll tell them a thing or two. Look out, she's coming. Oh, shush, shush. shush. I'm going to tell them how mean they are. How bad mannered it is to block up people's doors. I'll tell them I'm angry, too. But they've locked the gate. Hector! Zaza! Why have you locked your front gate? Don't you want to see me? Don't you want to be friends anymore? All right, I'm going. Well, I'm never coming back again. Oh, no, 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 Kiki. Oh, please, Mrs. Fromm, don't go, Mrs. Fromm. Please oh, don't Kiki, go. Kiki, don't go. Come oh, back here. We wanted here. to surprise you. Oh, oh she can run when she wants to. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, no. Kiki, we didn't want to upset you. Really, we didn't. Then why have you put all those things in front of my door? It was the only way to make you use the gate. Then why did you go and lock the front gate? That was to make sure you'd be the first person to use our new mm. bell. Oh. Look at it, Kiki. Isn't that your bell, Miss Zaza? Yes, 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 yes. Here, Kiki, why don't you try it? Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think of it? It works very well. Right, and now that Mrs. Frog's rung our bell, I think it's time she came in to see us. Important people should always come through the front gate. No. Oh? Why not? Because I'd rather come through my little door. <laughs> <laughs> quick, Hector, quick, let's clear those things yes, away. Yes, come on, Zaza. We'll get there before her. Quick, let's go. Hurry up. The barrel, the, yeah. the sack, the, that's it. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hector. Hello to you, Mrs. Ross. Hello. I always want to come through my little door. <laughs> of course, Kiki. Because I'm not an important person. I'm just a little frog. Of course. Of course. Well, if that's how it is, I've got something here which ought to fix you up oh. very nicely, Mrs. Frog. Now then, where is it? Ha <laughs> ha. It's just the thing we need. Perfect. I found oh. a little bell that should go very nicely by your door. A real little bell? Just for me? Yes, yes. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you, Mr. Hector. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, please, you mustn't thank me. Oh, Don't yes. mention it. You know I shall always remain your great faithful old Hector. <laughs> I found some cheese, but I think I'd better eat it outside. Now, I'm going to eat my cheese out of the breeze. <laughs> la, 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 Oh, oh, where are you, Hector? Hector, Hector. I can't answer. It's rude to speak with your mouth full. Hector. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, what do you want, Zaza? Hector, you come here at once. There's something I'd like to ask you. Ask me? Yes, you. Now, what do you think she wants to ask me? You see this larder, Hector? Yes. There used to be some cheese there. Oh, yes, it was very nice. Just as I thought. You've eaten it, haven't you? I was hungry. You were hungry, but you've only had your dinner about an hour Well, ago. I was still hungry. But this is getting ridiculous, Hector. You never stop eating all day long. Who, me? I don't know what you'll do on a desert island. Oh, this cat just doesn't know what she's talking about. I'd get along very well on a desert island. I've read Robinson Crusoe. I say, Miss Zaza, just you listen to me, Miss Zaza. Well? Listen to me. I just want to tell you something, Zaza. I'd have no trouble on a desert island. I can go without food if I want to. Who needs cheese? Or anything else, for that matter. But Hector... No, it's no good. My mind's made up. Well, what are you going to do? Going to do? I'm going to live on a desert island, that's what. Like a shipwrecked man would. Shipwrecked man? But where, Hector? Here, of course, in the garden. <laughs> shipwrecked in the garden, oh, really? And I'll sleep out in the open. I'll get my food from fishing and hunting. And I'll see by the light of the moon. Oh, and how long is that going to last? I then? don't know, really. A fortnight, maybe even a month. There, I'll set up camp by the water. <laughs> If you were on a desert island, that's just where you'd be. Right. Well, you can go now. From this moment on, I want to be all alone. It's a survival exercise. Well, all right then, Hector. This is it. Goodbye. Yes, you're right. Goodbye. Heaven knows when we shall meet again. <laughs> there. Right then. Now then, let's see, let's see. <laughs> just to start with, i better get my fishing rod. Oh, well, I ought to be able to catch a couple of fish by tonight. <laughs> I say, Hector. Yes, what is it? I thought I'd better bring you your hat in case you got sunstroke. I brought you a blanket, too, so you won't get cold. No, 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 no. Men aren't shipwrecked with their hats on. Oh, all right. Just as you like. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Don't rush off. What do you want, Hector? Yeah, on second thoughts, I'd better have it. There you are, then. Yes, well, you see, things like blankets and hats could be washed up on the shore. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, Hector. yes, of course. <laughs> now, these fish. Where are they, these fish? Hello. Caught anything? I can't talk to you. I'm on a desert island. Desert island? Yes, and in any case, I haven't got time. I've got to get my hut built before dark. Oh! What do you want a hut for? To sleep in, of course. A hut. I must get some branches to build it with. I say, Miss Zaza! I say, Miss Zaza! What's all this about? Oh, Miss Zaza, oh, please tell me. How did Mr. Hector go and get shipwrecked? That's it. There. That's my little hut. There. Huh. Perfect. I'll make the walls tomorrow. Still haven't got any fish. Oh, that's a nuisance. Uh, and then Robinson Crusoe, when he didn't have any fish, ate roots instead. All right, then, I'll go and look for some roots. He's doing something in his vegetable plot. Oh, yes. I've got a carrot, and though I don't care for carrots, it'll have to do. Uh, I'll make my bed. Hmm. Uh, uh, but, Zaza... We can't possibly let Mr. Hector sleep in the garden all night. Oh, don't worry about that, Kiki. I know a way of getting him to come home huh? again. What way is that? Mm. <clears throat> oh, I can't possibly sleep here. It's too hard. Anyway, I'm not sleepy. What'll I do then? Oh, I know. I'll eat my carrot. Dear yeah, Kiki, oh. this will soon fetch him home again. Oh, 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 yes. It's not nice. A shipwrecked Hector. Oh, a lovely smell. Let's see now. Yes, I think. Must be a cake I smell. Well, where is he? Is he coming? Not yet, but he won't be much longer. <laughs> why not? I don't see why I shouldn't have a bit of cake. Yes, I'm going. He's coming. <laughs> La -la 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 -la. What a lovely cake. <laughs> Lovely cake. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I'd like a bit of that cake myself. Really, Hector? What about your survival exercise? Oh, you can survive just as well by eating a cake as by not eating it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. I've got nothing to be ashamed of. I survived. I'm big old Hector the survivor. <laughs> Why are you whistling, Hector? I'm calling Mrs. Frog. I'm bored. I feel like some company. Oh, Hector, don't you know you never whistle at frogs? It's just not polite. Ah, there she is. As soon as I heard someone whistling, I said to myself, that must be Mr. Hector calling me. Oh, I'm afraid he's got very bad manners. <laughs> I was just going through my letters. I've got quite a lot of letters this morning. So you choose the day I'm feeling bored to read your letters, do you? Oh, poor Mr. Hector. I'll come and read my letters with you, 
If you'd like me to. Oh, yes, I'd like you to. I've got a postcard from America. One of my friends sent it to me. Oh, it's from one of our friends. Yes, I heard the first time. And she's very nice, you know. I suppose she's a frog as well. Hmm? Yes. She's an American frog, Zaza. Oh, yes, Hector, I realized that. Ah, good, good, good. She works in the Weather Forecasting Bureau in New York. In New York? Yes, in the Weather oh, Forecasting Bureau. Oh, I see. <laughs> she really comes from New York, eh? Those oh, skyscrapers. Yes. <laughs> there. Shall I read it to you? What's the name of your friend, Mrs. Frog? Rebecca. Rebecca, very nice. We're listening, Kiki. Oh, yeah. My dear Kiki. My dear Kiki. Oh, I couldn't reply to your letter any earlier. So you wrote to her then? Uh, I couldn't reply to your letter any mm -hmm. earlier because I've had a touch of flu. Oh, poor Go Rebecca. Go on, Kiki. We've had a very bad storm in New York. Uh -huh. But the weather's fine now. Oh, well, that's oh, good. Oh, the quartet. Why should the I? The depression has now moved over the uh, Bahamas, uh -huh. and I'm going to have a few days' holiday in Florida. <laughs> the world's a big place. I hope you are in the best of health and will write again soon. That's all? Oh, yes, that's all. She didn't ask how I was. But, Hector, she doesn't know you. <laughs> I suppose not. Oh. Now, what's the matter, Hector? I didn't get any letters today. Oh, oh. poor old Hector. Oh, I've got an idea. Uh -huh. Yes, I've got it. The key to the mystery. The key to the mystery? Yes, yes, yes. Follow me. Where are come you on, come on, come on. You'll soon see. This way. Oh. Come on, this way. Follow me. Don't go so fast, Hector. Don't go so fast. We can't keep up. There you are. There's the key to the mystery. Can't you see that? No, I can't see. No. You can't get letters without a letter box, can you? Of course you can't. Well, you wait here while I go and make one. I can make one in two flicks of a cat's tail. Now then, let's see. Oh, he's using his big hammer. Oh, yes. Once Hector gets an idea in his head, it's done quickly. Ah, nail in here. Ah. That's it. A nice letter box. Oh. Ah. Hold that, please. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now then, let's see. Whereabouts do you think I ought to hang it up? Mr. Hector. Isn't he clever? Let's have it now. I'll hang it. Uh, uh, here. There. And now we've got a box for our letters. We don't have to keep an eye open for the postman. That's true. Let's go then. Come on, Kiki. Yes, yes. And now, just to pass the time away, I think I'll tidy up my workshop. Oh, poor Mr. Hector. He'd so love to have a letter in his letter box. Exactly. I've just had an idea. Oh! Good idea. I think so. Why can't we write a letter to Hector? Oh, yeah. And then we'll put it in his letterbox. <laughs> He'll be so pleased. Come on, I'll get a pen. Yes. Yeah. Tidy up a bit. Tidy up a bit. Tidy up a bit. My dear Hector, you are... Nothing there? Oh, well, the postman hasn't been yet. Let's go and put it in the box. Oh, yes. Come on, Kiki. <laughs> Hector isn't looking. Go on, then. I'll keep Quick. watch. I'll keep watch. That popped a bit of time away. All we've got to do is to call him. Mr. Hector! 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 I want you! Did you call me? Yes, hurry up, Hector. There's a letter for you in the box. A letter? Yes, yes, Mr. Hector, a letter! There you see. A letter. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I was so busy tidying up, I didn't see the postman come. <laughs> yes, it's for me, all right. It's got my name on. Aren't you going to read it, Mr. Hector? Oh, yes, Hector, you must read it to us. All right, I'll read it to you. We're listening. <laughs> <coughs> my dear Hector. My dear Hector. Yes, my dear Hector. <laughs> You're a great big old Hector. You see, they know me. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're a great big old Hector, but Kiki and Zaza are a lot nicer than you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> who the Dickens could have written that? I don't know. Nor I. But I can tell you one thing. The person who wrote that was talking a lot of rubbish. Oh, oh, why is that, Hector? Don't you think Kiki and I are nice? Yes, yes, of course you are. You're both very nice. Ah, oh, good. Of course. But then I'm a great big, very, very, very nice old Hector. <laughs> I think I saw the curtain move. Oh, yes, it's 
Mr. Hector. Oh, dear, oh, you won't catch me eating nuts again. Oh, oh dear, oh, dear, oh, serve me right for being so greedy. But what on earth is the matter with you both? We've got toothache. We've eaten too many nuts. Oh, that's what you get for being greedy. Yes, and I suggest you try not to laugh, because if you do, it means you're heartless. Oh, I'm not laughing. And just to show you that I'm not heartless either, I'm going to keep you company. I know she's kind-hearted, but all the same, it's obvious she's never had toothache. Yes, that's obvious. I brought some things to entertain you, because when you've got toothache, it's best to try not to think about it. Oh, easier said than done. <laughs> you ought to come out in the garden, too. It's lovely out. Yes, but it's too drafty in the garden. Oh. Ah, you're afraid of drafts, are you? <laughs> I can assure you, Mr. Hector, there's not the slightest breath of wind today. All right, I'm coming. I'll come with you. I shall get bored indoors. I think I ought to explain, Mrs. Frog. The worst thing that can happen with toothache is getting bored. I know. That's why I want to entertain you. Oh, yes, Kiki, entertain us. Oh. Make us laugh, Mrs. Frog. If we can laugh, it means we're better. Right. Now then, would you like a game of dominoes? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm just not in the mood for playing dominoes. Oh. oh. Bingo, then. How's that? Not bingo. Oh, no, oh. no, no. Oh, what about these little cars? I've got three. We could have a race together. Yes, that might be fun, Mrs. Ooh. Frog. I'll have the blue one. All I'll right. have the Ferrari. Yeah. Oh, so it's no good. It's no good? It's not taking my mind off things. Oh. My toothache's as bad as ever. Oh. oh, well, what else can we do? Oh, yes, I've got it. I'll play you some music. Oh, yes, yes, that's a good idea. I'll play you a lullaby. Mm -hmm. Just the thing, your lullaby, Mr. Hector. Oh, yes. savage breast, but it certainly can't cure toothache. Oh, <laughs> wait a bit. I have another idea. Well, we can always try oh, yes, it. there's no point in giving up until we've tried everything. Mm. Right. I've got some coloured crayons. Oh. You get ready. I'll get some paper from the house. Oh, well, I think I'll sit down here. I'll have the orange, the blue, and the black. Uh, I'll have the grey, the green, and the red. There. I found two pieces of paper. One for Mr. Hector. There. Thank you. And one for you, Miss Zaza. Thank you, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm going to draw. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> A bit of grey first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for fun. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> there. And now, some red. Um, bit of blue? That's funny. <laughs> And a nice big black dot here. Bit of green. That's it. Oh, you've got a good likeness. Now, don't say anything to Hector. Oh, don't. No, 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 no. And you, Mr. Hector? Good. Nearly finished? I have finished. So have I. Now well, then, let's see your masterpieces. Well, here, well, it, here is. it is. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> that's me. That's me you've been drawing, Sasa. Oh, you've been drawing me, Hector. He's given me great, huge whiskers. <laughs> Look at that. She's drawn my big nose just the way it is. <laughs> oh, I see you're feeling better. Has the toothache gone, then? Oh, yes, it has. My toothache's all gone. Oh, and so is mine. I can't feel a thing. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you laughing. <laughs> oh, yes, when you laugh, the toothache goes away. <laughs> it's a drawing that makes me laugh. I'm a good Great big ugly old man, <laughs> about this Kiki. Kiki! Oh, oh, it's not picking time. They're already ripe. We'd better pick them before they start dropping off then. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, what did I say? Yes, they're ripe. I must get a stick to knock them down with. Kiki? Here I am. There's something I want to ask you. Yes, Azza. Are you fond of nuts, Kiki? Oh, yes, very fond of them. Are your nuts 
nuts already ripe then, Miss Dossa? Yes, they are. And I was going to suggest we went for a little trip up in the old walnut tree. Mm. Oh, I'm fond of little trips. You know that, Sasa. Well, hurry up then. Yes. There's such a lot, it makes my mouth water. I thought I'd bring my little wooden mallet to crack the nuts with. Oh, that's a good idea, Kiki. That's much easier to use than a nutcracker. Oh, yes. Hmm, indeed. Aren't we going to use the ladder to get up the tree with? Oh, no. When it comes to climbing trees, I don't need a ladder. Oh, yes, of course. You're going to give me a piggyback. <laughs> get on my back then, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> Put your arms round my neck and hold tight, and you'll be... Right up at the top of this tree, oh, before yeah. you know you've left the ground. Oh, you climbed so quickly, I Tata. told you, we're already there. Oh, look, there's Mr. Hector. I've looked everywhere for Miss Zaza, but I still can't find her. Cats always seem to have the knack of disappearing when there's work to be done. <laughs> hmm? Oh, come in, come in. <laughs> we're up here, Mr. Oh, oh, you're there, are you? If you weren't that I'm never frightened, you might have frightened me. We want to help you pick the nuts, Mr. Hector. Yes, because we said dogs always seem to have the knack of disappearing when there's work to be done. <laughs> oh, that's such a stupid thing to say. I've already lost the urge to pick the nuts. Well, really? Come on, Mr. Hector. You can see we're only too anxious to help you. If you just knock the nuts down, well, then we can pick them up. Yes, but if Zaza says any more nasty things to me, then I'm going. But, Hector, you're the one who started it. Oh, shut up, Alley Cat. Oh, nothing a mere hound says could worry me. Oh, Mr. Oh. Hector, Miss Zaza, please, you mustn't quarrel like that. It's all that cat's fault. Oh, that dog always starts it. Oh, Mr. Hector, you mustn't get angry now. Come on, please, Mr. Hector. Oh, oh, oh. Really, Miss Zaza, no, then just be reasonable. Don't get angry over nothing at all. Well, I am angry, so there. Oh, Mr. Hector, you're the biggest. So you ought to give in. Oh, no, no. Oh, yes. It's always up to dogs to take the initiative. Oh, no, please, Miss Zaza. You're the kindest, aren't you? It's up to you to give in. No, 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 no. Miss oh, Zaza. Oh, Mr. Hector, I can see you want to stop all this. Come on. Be generous now. Give Zaza your paw. I don't want to give her my paw. Oh, yes, you do. You know you do. There. No, 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 no. There, and now it's your turn, Miss Zaza. You must give Hector your paw. I don't want to give Hector oh, my yes, paw. Yes, you do, Miss Zaza, just to please me. <laughs> now then. Come on, just shake hands and it will all be over. Oh, there. Well, then. That's good, and so now we can all get back to work. Oh, yes, we'd better hurry, because that cat's wasted a lot of our time with her bad temper. Oh, oh Mr. Hector. There may not be many walnuts, but they're big ones. Oh, yes, they look very juicy. We'll soon see about that. We might get a taste ourselves if Hector's not too greedy. Oh, really, Miss Zaza? Well, it won't do that cat any harm to wait a little bit. Be reasonable, Mr. Reasonable. Hector. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, look out down there. Oh, 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 Hector. oh, Hector, you did it on purpose. Oh, of course I didn't. Oh, there's no point in talking about it. Oh, are you quite sure you didn't do well, it? Well, I may have done it a little bit on purpose. Oh, Mr. Hector. It's not worth making a fuss about. Oh, that's not nice of you. <laughs> there, now I can protect myself. <laughs> With this, I'm not worried about your silly tricks. You can knock down all the nuts you want to on my head, and I won't even feel them. I've oh. never seen anything quite as silly as that. Oh, oh no, 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 Mr. Hector, don't start again. No. Once bitten, twice shy. Oh, Miss Asa, Miss Asa, don't you start. And too many cats spoil the broth. Oh, no, Mr. Hector, don't get angry. And don't oh, you either, Miss Asa. Oh, this fog's getting on my nerves, oh. always trying to make oh, us stop no. quarrelling. Oh, come on, oh, now, no. now, come on, come on over here. Come no, on, Mrs. No, Frog, no, come no, along no, this way. Now, come on, no, 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 come on. Come on, come on. But, Mr. Hector! No, no, but... but there. Uh, now, sit uh, down there and don't you move. Uh, but where are we going? Uh, no. You uh, stay here while I go back to Zaza. Oh, well, really, now. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good job done. Oh, you're back, are oh, yes, you? I was just getting rid of that frog, because when she's around, we never get a chance to quarrel in peace. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, there. Oh, oh. And I like having a quarrel now and again. Oh, yes, so do I. <laughs> you see, today I'm a great big quarrelsome old Hector. Oh, you won't catch me, you won't catch oh, me. Oh, yes, I've got you, I've got you. Huh? Oh, Mr. Hector, Mr. Hector, quick, 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 quick. Oh, what is all I'm this? I'm going to catch you, you just wait oh, and see. What's no, going no, on? No. Oh, let go of me, will you? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, oh. you won't get me. Oh, that's you enough, I tell you, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Oh, oh, are you ever going to stop? Oh, oh, stop it, I said. Stop it. <laughs> really, I've never seen anything like it. Look at my lettuces. Oh. Look what you've done to my lettuces. Oh, You're out of your minds. You know a vegetable garden isn't a playground. <laughs> well, I don't think it's a laughing matter, Mrs. Fogg. Oh, well, that's a pity. 
there because we can't stop laughing. <laughs> I said it was so sorry. You can't get through. Did you know it was playtime, Hector? Playtime, huh? Got you. Hey, wait a minute. What game are you playing? We're huh? playing it. It? Oh, that's boring. First time it, now you're it. Oh, we'll play off-ground touch if you like. Off-ground touch is more fun. You jump about, you climb up things. Right. Are you all ready? I'll start us off. Line up. The last one on the ground is hit. Yes. One, two, and go. Oh, quick. Off the ground, quick. Oh, what am I going to climb onto? I'm going uh, to climb up a tree. Uh, oh, yes, so am I. Uh, uh, up, 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 up. Uh, I'm there. Uh, so am I. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Kiki, you're still on the ground. Yes, I'm afraid you're it, Mrs. Frog. Oh, <laughs> now, then, be careful, Kiki. As soon as we put a foot on the ground, you can try and catch us. Yes, hurry up and do it, then. Yes, I'm coming. It won't be long now. Coco, oh, yeah, you won't catch me. Yeah, you won't catch me. Oh, Mr. Hector, I can't get you. Well, are they? Oh, you're it, Mr. Hector. Oh, you caught me there. I'm it. Oh, oh, oh. You must climb up somewhere. I don't want to be it again. Where have they got to? Wait a bit. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm too late. They're too quick for me. I'm climbing right up to the top so you won't catch me. It's not worth it, Kiki. Come down, Hector's lost. Oh, yes, I've lost. You can come down out of that tree, Mrs. Frog. Oh, no. What do you mean, no? Don't you want to come down, Kiki? I want to, but I can't. Why the dickens did she climb as high as that? Try and come down nice and slowly, Kiki. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, Hector, this is terrible. All right, wait a minute. In an emergency, it's best to get the right tools for the job. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Where are you going? Oh, don't leave me all alone up here. Hold on tight. The rescue operation started. Now hold on tight, Kiki. Hector's coming to the rescue. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. He won't be much longer, Kiki. Oh, if ever you want a quick rescue, you can always depend on me. Oh. Hector's coming with the ladder now. Come on, don't get in the way, Zaza. Move over. Leave a gangway for the rescue squad. <laughs> oh, please hurry up, Mr. Hector. There. Right, Zaza, come and help me get the ladder in position, will you, please? Yes, Hector, yes. There. It's in position. Right. Oh, I've forgotten something. Oh. oh, that's something important, too. Now, then, let's see. <laughs> please hurry up, Mr. Hector. I'm frightened. Please hurry up. Yes, all right, all right. Quick, Hector. I just went to get this little barrel. Oh. All rescue dogs have to have a little barrel hanging oh, around their necks. Of course <laughs> they do. Hurry up, Mr. Hector. I'm starting to slip. All right, coming. Up. Oh, Mr. McDonald. Oh. All right, Kiki, Hector's coming. Get a move on, Hector. Oh, please hurry up, Mr. Oh, Hector. Oh, dear, it is high. Oh, yes, it is high. I'll never be able to get down. Oh, yes, you will. Ah, oh, there we are, Mrs. Frog. Now you just try and get hold of my shoulders. Oh, oh please, try, Kiki. Try as hard as you can. Oh, come on, now get a bit nearer. A bit nearer still. Uh... Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Oh, don't let go of me, Mr. Hector. Now, don't get frightened. I'll soon have you back oh, on the ground. Oh, the ground's a long way away. It's all right. Now, come on, now, gently there. There, that's it. No, 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 that's it. Oh, come on, now, hold on tight. Be there, very there. careful, Hector. Bring oh. her down very slowly now. Yes, I'll bring her back safe and sound. Oh, be careful, Hector. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Oh, please be careful. Oh, oh poor Kiki. Oh. 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 oh, come on, Kiki. Come on. Come and let me oh, cheer I... you up. I didn't oh. think I'd get down from there alive. Here oh, we are, Kiki. Mrs. Frog. <laughs> this will soon cheer you up. Go on, Kiki. Uh. Drink a little. There. Now, uh. feel any better? Oh, yes. I'll have a drop more. <laughs> well, that's oh, cool. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, Mr. Hector. I don't know where I'd be now if it wasn't for you. Yeah. Yes, Hector, you've been a very brave Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you saved my life. Yes, you did. Oh, well, then, I'm a great big life-saving old Hector. Oh, yes. <laughs> I say, Miss Zaza, what time is it? Oh, I don't know. Two o'clock, half past two. Half past two? Mm -hmm. Why do you think Mrs. Frog hasn't been in to see us by now? I don't know. Perhaps you've upset her, Hector. Me? Well, I certainly haven't. As I haven't been teasing her, I don't see why you should be upset. <laughs> oh, she's a very moody frog, you know. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Frog, have you been there all the time, then? Oh, yes, all the time. Miss Zaza's been making me a hat out of all the flowers in your garden. It's 
It's nice, isn't it? Yes, you look just like Kew Gardens. I must keep you out of the sun, Kiki. Otherwise, your hat will shrivel up before this evening. Oh, yes. That would be a shame. <laughs> Sticking a thing like that on my head isn't the kind of idea that would occur to old Hector here. An idea. An idea. No, wait a minute. I've just had a marvellous idea. Now, don't budge an inch. No, no, that's no good. What's no good? It just come this way, would you please? Mommy. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Hector. There, you go first, Mrs. Frog. There, there, there. Oh, no, 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 that's no good either. Oh, let's just think. Uh, ah, no, over there. Oh, just come oh, this way, would you please? Yeah, it'll be fine over here, this way. Huh? Oh, that's it. That'd be very pretty by this willow. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Lift your sunshade a bit. Oh, yes. Very nice. Uh, would you mind moving a bit further to the right, please? Mm -hmm. No, put your paw down. Oh. There, that's fine. Uh -huh. Now, you just wait here for me and don't move at all while I'm away. Don't budge an inch. Oh. Now, don't move. I'll soon be back. But I'm uncomfortable like this. Oh, yes, so am I. Mm. Now, don't you dare move. Don't move an inch now. Oh, Hector, please hurry up. I've got cramp. So have I. I've got cramp, Mr. Hector. Hector. Oh. Hector. There now. That's it. Coming. I found it. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. Oh! Oh! You've got a camera, Mr. Hector. <laughs> now, please don't move. Uh -huh. Mr. Now. Hector's going to take our picture. Ah, uh, that's fine. Does that camera really work, Mr. Hector? Well, of course it works. Is there any reason why it shouldn't work? It was my granddad's. <laughs> but it must be very old. <laughs> Hector, I've got pins and needles in my legs. But I'm ready now. Uh, could you move over to the left a little, Mrs. Frog? <laughs> Uh, no, 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 a bit further, please. Uh, there, that's fine. No other sunshade? Yes. Uh, no, no, that's too low now. Higher, that's right. Uh, that now, right. now, don't move because we're ready. I just uh, want you to smile, please. We're smiling, Mr. Hector. I just want to get you in focus. Can you see me in your camera, Mr. Hector? I can see you perfectly. It's just as if I were looking at you. <laughs> can you see my little hat, too? Yes, of course I can see your hat. Now, make sure you don't move. Now, smile, please. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've forgotten something. Well, now, where are you going? Oh, this is too much. I'm going to get my accordion, because I'd like to have my picture taken with my accordion. When you take the picture, it'll look much prettier. Also, my little accordion's never had its picture taken before. All right, all right. Back in your places. Oh, that's perfect. Just another little smile, please. There. Ready? Uh, now, watch the birdie, ladies. Oh, is, is there a bird, bird as well? Oh, what's going on? I can't see a thing now. Oh, what are you two doing there? We're just watching the bird. What bird? I can't see any bird. But you just told us to watch it, Hector. I just told you to watch a bird. But we can't see it. That's because there isn't any bird. Oh, now get back, you two. Oh. No, no, you're too near. Get back a bit. Hmm? No, 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 that's no good. Uh, go on, uh, further. No, no, further, I said. Further, oh, further. Uh, there. Oh, you poor old things. <laughs> what are you doing there? <gasps> I've an idea. Don't move. Now, don't move an inch. There. This is going to be a marvellous photograph. Oh, really? I'm old Hector, the photographer. Oh. felt a spot of rain. Oh, no. Look, Hector, not a cloud in sight. Hmm? Yes, you're right. All the same, I'm going to hurry up and get my hay in. Oh. oh, no, that's too much. What's wrong? You know that putting your paw behind your ear brings on the rain. 
Oh, you're talking nonsense. I have a perfect right to put my paw behind my ear whenever I feel like it. And anyway, you're wrong. I didn't put my paw behind my ear. I was tidying my kiss curls. Like that. Do you see? Yes, your kiss curls happen to be behind your ears. They're not. They are. They're not. Who cares? You're stopping me from working. I'm not. All right, if it's like that, then. I see. What's going on? I could have sworn you were quarrelling. She's the one who started it. She did. She did. It's oh. no good both of you talking at once, Mr Hector. Yes? Now, what's the trouble? The trouble is that this cat down here is trying to make it rain. Oh, to make it rain? Yes, she's trying to bring on the rain by putting her paw behind her ear. Idiot. I am not an idiot. Everybody knows that when a cat puts its paw behind its ear, it starts to rain. <laughs> You don't expect me to believe that old wives' tale, do no, you? No, no, no. It's not a, an old wives' oh, tale. Yes. It's going to rain. And then it will be all your don't fault. Don't worry, Miss Zaza. Listen, you can put your paws behind your ears just as often as you like, but it still won't rain. Ah. Oh. I see. You're on her side, then. The signs are unmistakable. The signs? What signs, eh? The signs we see around us. The clouds. <laughs> the clouds. Mm-hmm. The wind. the wind. The wind? And how is it you happen to know all this? I just told you. It's quite easy. As far as I'm concerned, your signs don't mean a thing, Mrs. Frog, eh? Ah, uh, uh. but that's because you're not a frog. Every frog can tell the weather. It's a gift. There you see, it's a gift. <laughs> I'd give a lot for that gift, I can tell you. It's something every gardener would be grateful for. Have you any gift? Yes, I can see in the dark. Oh, <laughs> that... If that counts as a gift, then I've got one too. I smell. You smell what? I smell everything. Uh -huh. I do it with my nose. Now then, for instance, just you take Mrs. Frog here. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what she smells of. She smells of old pine cones. A very old pine cone, Mr. Hector. I got it from my great-grandmother, and it works well. Ah, it works. Oh, yes, very well. Can't you see how? No, no, we can't. But then you don't know the sign. For instance, take today. The needles on my pine cone are all spread out. That means it's going to be fine. Ah. Yes, and when they're all squeezed up tight against each other, that means it's going to rain. Oh, you oh. certainly know a lot. Well, that's because I've worked at the Weather Forecasting Bureau. Oh, you're very clever. I can teach you. How to recognize the clouds. Oh, oh, yes. How the winds blow. Oh, yes, About yes. barometric pressure. Oh, no, 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 no aromatic pressure. That doesn't interest me. What interests me is to know when it's going to rain. Right. In that case, I must start by teaching you the ladder technique. One moment. The ladder technique? Now, what's that? You'll see. When a little <clears throat> frog stays at the bottom of her ladder, then it's going to rain. But if she's halfway up it, that means the weather's changeable. And when she's right at the top, it's going to be fine. Right. I've got it. I'm going to try it out. But only frogs have the gift. What does that matter? I'm going to try it out all the same. Mrs. Frog won't mind teaching me. Now then, when I'm halfway up, the weather's changeable. That's it. Very good. And when I'm right up here, the sun shines. Well done. But if I come down again... That means it's going to rain? That's it. Right now, then, I'm down at the bottom. It's going... It's raining! Oh, it's, it's raining! raining. It is raining! It's raining! <laughs> right now, I went a bit. I'll go up to the top again. Just you watch. You see? It stopped raining. I can forecast the weather. I'm great big weatherman Hector. <laughs> Now, have a good look. Ah, there's a bee. Show me. Isn't it nice, Kiki? Oh, oh, it is pretty. Come on. Oh. Hector. What is it? What do you want? Come over here a minute, will you? Come and see what we found, Mr. Hector. They found something, have they? Well, that's different then. Here I am. Look at this. Can you see? Oh, yes. I see. I see. Uh, I see a plant. It's ever so pretty, isn't it, Hector? It's got such lovely little pointed leaves. And such tiny little seeds right up at the top. Yes, it's extraordinary. It's a very rare plant, you know. Oh, yes. Here, Hector, look after it for us. We'll go and pick a few more. Hey, I don't want your plant. Look after it yourself. <laughs> I found one that's even prettier. I found the prettiest, Kiki. Oh, you're right, your 
Rose is even prettier than mine. <gasps> what do you think, Mr. Hector? Oh, I'm not very interested in plants, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> don't bother with him. I've just had a marvellous idea. Marvellous really? idea? Oh, really? Come on, Kiki, you come with me. We can make a collection. A collection? Oh, yes. What kind of collection? A collection of wild flowers, of course. Why didn't you say so? You know I love collecting things. Well, Hector, are you going to help us? Oh, yes. Well, then, we must go and get our big scrapbook from the house. I'll go. And I'll go and get my little book. Which one? My little nature book. Oh, yes, a good idea. Oh, there's our scrapbook. Perfect. We can put all our plants in there. And here's my little nature book, Zaza. I've written down in here all the names of every wildflower in the world. <laughs> Not big enough. Oh, yes. Not, um, what about this plant here? What is it? Hmm. That's couch grass, Mr. Hector. Couch grass, really? <laughs> She's right, too. And this one. What do you think this is, Mrs. Fogg? Let's see, let's see. That's Lucerne, Mr. Hector. Oh. Lucerne, eh? She's a jolly clever frog. Oh, very clever. You coming, Kiki? Lucerne. There's quite a lot over here. Over there? Lucerne. How's that? Oh, it's pretty. My turn. There. Thank you. I brought you one as well. Very nice. I'm going to get another one. That's right. Oh, that's lovely. There. That's it. And here's another one. The that? That's a fern. That's a fern? Uh-huh. <laughs> Can't be. A buttercup. Thank you. For you. Yes, that's it. Mm, that's very nice. Ah, oh, oh, got it. <laughs> and here's another one. <laughs> it's about time I picked some too. That one. <laughs> oh. oh, it's sticky. That's it then. That's it, Mr. Hector. What do you mean, that's it? That's the law. That's all we need. All you have to do now is to classify them. Classify them? But I haven't got enough yet. I want a lot. Oh, you don't know the first thing about collecting plants. I'll soon show you how it ought to be done. Not very hard. You need a scythe. Just watch this. Oh! oh. What on oh. earth are you doing, Hector? Oh, oh Mr. Stop Hector! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, Mr. Hector! There we are. Mr. Hector! <laughs> Hector! Oh. I've cut the lot. <laughs> there, that's all for my collection. But you'll never be able to classify them all. Why won't I, then? I can finish my collection at one go. <laughs> I say, could you bring me those plants I've just cut down? Oh, they're pretty. That's a dandelion. This is burdock. That's chickweed. Lavender. <laughs> you see, I told you. <laughs> Come on, now, go and get some more. Uh, that's hellebore. That's water mint. Oh, and there's a creepy crawly. What tiny legs it's got. Now, come on, Hector, concentrate on the job. Another plant, some other plant. Here yeah, now, and that's the lot. We've brought everything you cut, Mr Hector. Oh, poor old Hector. How on earth are you going to classify it all? You won't do it in a month of Sundays, Mr Hector. <laughs> <laughs> and it's already given you hay. What do you expect? Yeah. Every job has got its drawbacks. Oh. I'm a big old plant and flower collecting, Hector, now. I'm not up to anything, Zaza. I'm just doing a bit of cleaning. A bit of cleaning? Oh, dear. Be careful you don't get yourself dirty, Hector. Oh, cats always have to put their spoke in. As if I can't do something without getting dirty. <laughs> splash, splash, splash. <laughs> that made a nice splash. Oh, that's done it. Oh, just look at me now. Oh, goodness. Well, I'll just have to wash my overall. <laughs> Only, I'd rather Zaza didn't see me. La la la, la 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 la, la la 
Now I can get in. Dirty. I'll have to wash my face too. <laughs> there, clean as a new whistle. <laughs> I'll soon do my overall. There, now dip it in once, dip it in again, dip it in again. <laughs> now the soap. Oh, my soap's gone. I dropped it. It isn't my day today. Everything's going splash. Never catch it like that. Rotten old soap. Just you wait till I get hold of you, you slippery devil. You having a swim, Mr Hector? No, I am not having a swim, Mrs Frog. That's the last thing I feel like having. Well, then, I don't understand what you're doing. Oh, don't you really? I thought it was obvious. I'm looking for my soap. Do you mean you've dropped your soap in the pond, Mr Hector? Yes, and I can't manage to get hold of it again. Oh, yes. I can see it now. You just leave it to me, Mr Hector. I'll dive for it. From up there? <laughs> I can't dive from up here. I'm coming down. Right, ready? Here goes. But but what about your hat? You've still got your clothes on, Mrs. Bond. And um, well, I never. Where's she got to? She's a brave little frog. She deserves a medal for this. She'll get my soap, and Zaza won't know a thing about it. I've got it. You see? Well done, Kiki. Get your Come on, let me help you out of there, Mrs. Frog. <laughs> Thank you. There, there. Hector, where are you? What are you doing? It's all so quiet out there. Has anything happened to you? No, 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 I'm all right. Now, what is he up to? Kiki, she's coming this way. Yes. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't look at all well. Yes. That's nasty. Are you here too, Kiki? Are you going to have a swim? And you, Hector, why have you got your swimsuit on? My swimsuit? Oh, yes. yes. Yes, you're right. I've got my swimsuit on. <laughs> oh, well, uh... Hector, I want you to tell me the truth. Yes, sir. Uh, you see, I was having a swim. I'm such a great big clean old Hector. Oh, To knit one, and then we have to pearl one. And then we have to knit one, and then we have to pearl one. Oh, well, haven't you finished it yet? No, Hector, not quite. Oh, well, really, you're slow with my sweater. I'd like to have it before winter sets in. Oh, yes, you'll have it all right. I'm just doing the collar. Oh, I want a roll neck, <laughs> a big roll neck, and long sleeves as well, so I'll keep nice and warm. I know, Hector. I chose the colour myself, you know. Oh, oh, I've just dropped a stitch. What? You've just dropped a stitch? Mm. Oh, that's serious, that is. Oh, no, Mrs. Frog, it's disaster. My sweater will be ruined. <laughs> it's all right, Hector. I picked it up again. You picked it up? Yes. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, it's no good. I'll have to go. Watching you knit my sweater upsets me. All right. You go away and we'll call you as soon as it's finished. Don't let me down, Zaza. Oh, I hope my lovely sweater turns out all right. <laughs> and I hope it fits me, too. Oh, this waiting's making me nervous. Hey, Zaza, Zaza! Yes, Hector? What do you want? Be careful you don't drop any more stitches. Of course I won't, Hector. Don't get impatient. 
I know what. I'll knock some nails in. When you get upset, the best way to calm down is to knock nails in. I only hope my sweater's not too big. I hope there's no holes in it either. There. Oh, suppose it's too small. Oh dear, oh dear, I wouldn't get it on. Oh, Hector. Oh. Someone calling me. Hurry up, Mr. Hector. Your lovely sweater's finished. Coming, coming. Come and see how nice it looks. I'm coming, yes, I'm coming, yes. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's lovely. <laughs> I've got a roll neck too, <laughs> and nice long sleeves, just as I wanted. I'll try it on now. Right away, Hector. Oh, yes, right away. May I have it? Oh, now be careful you don't put it on back to front, Hector, <laughs> or upside down either. Oh, no, no, come on, uh, uh, give me a hand. Help me to get out of here, will you? I I'm stuck. Oh, all oh, right, oh, Hector. Oh, hurry we're up not... or I'll suffocate. No, oh, please, please. There, Mr. Hector, we're helping. Oh, yes, we're going to pull Mr. Hector. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, your nose was stopping it from sliding down. Now, then, how does it fit? Oh, like a glove. Like a glove. What's that supposed to mean, Zaza? It means it fits you very well. There, Mr. Hector, look at yourself. See how handsome you look. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. It fits me perfectly. <laughs> yeah, that's just my style, too, isn't it? <laughs> the sporty lock. One, two, one, two, one, two. Guess what I need to go with it. A hat, of course. Yes, yes, a big woolly hat. Yes, with a little pom-pom right at the top. That's it, with a pom-pom on it. <laughs> I'll make it right away. Oh, I'll make the pom-pom for oh, you. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Now, I'll go and show my sweater to the Mockingbird. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mockingbird, Mockingbird, oh, Mockingbird, where are you? Mockingbird, come and see my lovely new sweater. Mockingbird, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Mockingbird, I've got a new sweater. Oh, where are you, little bird? Birdie, birdie, come and see my sweater. Hey, Mockingbird. I wonder where the dickens he's got to. Oh, Mockingbird! Oh, Mockingbird! Oh, come and look at my sweater! Oh, buddy! Buddy, buddy! Look at my sweater! There, I've knitted the hat, Kiki, and I've made the pom pom, Zaza! Mockingbird! Where's that bird got to, then? Little bird! Little bird! Mockingbird! What do you think, Kiki? We must show it to Mr. Hector right away! <laughs> All right, then, let's go! Yes, let's go! He's not here anymore. Oh, he must have gone for a walk. Oh! What's wrong? Look at that! Oh! It's the same wall as Mr. Hector's sweater. <gasps> oh, buddy! Buddy, come and see my sweater! Oh, Hector! Oh. Ah, now then, isn't that hat finished yet? Oh, Hector, your sweater! What about my sweater? What's wrong with it? Just look at yourself, Hector. Oh, my sweater! My lovely sweater! I had it a few minutes ago. Where's it all gone? Oh, I'm afraid it's all got unraveled, Hector. My lovely sweater all unraveled. Yes. You must have caught it on this nail here, Mr. Hector. But don't you see? My sweater's all gone now. Oh, you've still got the collar, Mr. Hector. And the sleeve. But it's not the same as having a whole sweater, is it? Oh, come on, Hector. Cheer up, old chap. I'll knit it for you again. Oh, yes. And I'll wind the wool up. Oh, yes, if you don't mind, Miss Zaza. Please hurry up so I won't get too cold. Of course, Hector. Because, you see... I'm a great big chilly old Hector. <laughs> Hello, hello. Well, where well, are they? Those two are never around when needed. Hello, Mr. Hector. Hello, Kiki. Oh, you do look very smart. Have you been into the town? Oh, yes. I've just been buying a few things. <laughs> I say, Miss Zaza, come quickly. Mr. Hector's been buying things in town. Buying things? Oh, what a nice parcel. What is it? <laughs> it's a present. Is it a present for Miss Zaza? No, it's, it, it's for all of us. For me as well? Yes, yes, for us, for you, for Zaza, and for me. Well, let's open it right away. I can't wait to see what's in it. We'll have to get some scissors. I can't seem to undo this knot. Are they in the house? Yes. I'll go and get them. Go on, hurry. They're in my sewing box. There, there. I've got them. Oh, that's good. Come on. There you are, Kiki. All you have to do is to cut it here. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you just wait. <laughs> oh, it's a pig. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Of course it is. I thought it was a good way of saving up for our holidays. Oh, yes. We all put a coin in now and again, and when the piggy bank's full, we'll all be rich. Oh, that's a very good idea, Hector. Well, what are you waiting for? It's time the piggy bank was christened. Go on, go and get some money. I'm just going. And you, aren't you going, Kiki? You surely must have some savings somewhere. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll go and get my purse right that's away. good. Here's my purse. What about yours, Hector? Where have you left it? Oh, I expect it's in my workshop. I brought my big purse along because I haven't enough money in the little purse. I mean, and when you go on holiday, you yes, need yes, a lot yes. of money, Yes, Now, who's you? going to start? Who's going to christen the piggy bank? Oh, I, I do. do. Now, I then, do. now then, please, ladies, take it easy now. No quarrelling. <laughs> I think, Miss Azza, you should start. Yeah. Oh. 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 It's a musical piggy bank. My turn now. It's my turn to make it play a little tune. Well, of course it's your turn, Kiki. The more we play it, the more we are saving. Oh, uh, pretty. Can I make it play again? Oh, no, no. It's Miss Sazar's turn to have another go. Why don't we play it forfeits with it? That would be a lot forfeits? more fun. Yes. Every time we do anything silly, anything at all, we pay a forfeit. And we do that by putting some money in the piggy bank. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't like that idea. Why not? Because you two girls do so many silly things, you'll be broke in no time. Oh. No, 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 no. I've got a better idea. Just wait here a minute. Now then, let's see. Some turnips, radishes, cauliflower, an artichoke. A big artichoke. <laughs> what are you doing with all those vegetables, Hector? You just listen. I'll soon tell you. I'm the greengrocer. We're going to have a game of greengrocers. Piggy bank? Don't rush me. I'll sell the vegetables. And instead of giving me money, you just put it in the piggy bank. Who wants an artichoke? Please? I'd like it. Right then. Put a coin in the piggy bank. <laughs> yes, Hector. <laughs> One fine artichoke coming up for Miss Zaza there. <laughs> and I'd like that big bunch of carrots. One bunch of carrots coming up for Mrs. Frog there. <laughs> Business really isn't going at all badly. I say, Hector, old chap. Yes? You haven't put a thing in the piggy bank yet. No, he hasn't. Well, well, uh, well, you haven't really given me time to go and get my purse, have you? But there's no need to. Your purse is in your pocket. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh. It's in oh. your pocket. Oh. I can see it. In my pocket? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. You see, here it is. Come on, Hector. It's your turn now. Put something in the piggy bank. Put some. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now. I don't feel Mr. like Hector. playing this game anymore. Oh, why not, Mr. Hector? Don't you think this pig has had enough to eat already? Hector, stop beating about the bush. Put something in, Mr. Mm. Hector, so that we can hear the music. Do please. Mm. 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 Don't you like hearing the music, Mr. Hector? Yes, of course I like hearing it. But you see, I'm a big stingy old Hector. Oh. A thing? It's pitch black. Look, there it is, bobbing up and down. Are you sure? Yes, in the corner. There's no corner, it's completely round. But it's there, near the wall. Oh, yes, I can see. Well, I certainly can't see it. We must go and get it. Are you quite sure you saw it? Sure, positive. Well, in that case, it seems to me a frog is the obvious choice for going down a well. It's just that I'm a little bit afraid of the dark. 
Of course. I forgot. Zaza will go down. You know very well I can't stand water. Yes, but you can see well in the dark. Where did you get that idea, Hector? But all cats can see in the dark. It's well known. All cats happen to hate water. That's well known too. I say, I only know one person who'd be brave enough to go down that well. Who's that? <laughs> Me? You're brave, aren't you? <laughs> Daring? Chivalrous? You're right. I'm going down. <laughs> oh, up. <laughs> Very deep, isn't it? Silly. You get into the bucket and we'll lower you down nice and gently. Right. I get into the bucket. Uh, I'm in. Uh, hold me tight now. Come on, Kiki. Come and help me. All right, all right. Come in. We must both pull together. I'm heavy, don't forget. And heave. And heave. Ah, that's it. We're ready. You won't let me go now, will you? Of course we won't. I've got it. And lower me nice and gently. Of course. Cast off. Fall and off. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Now, just a minute. What? If I shout, you'll bring me up at once, eh? Promise? Yes, we promise. All right, then. Let's go. <gasps> oh, dear. So deep. So deep. Oh, a flower. Oh, oh goodness, oh, 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 Gracious me, I'm sinking right down to the center of the earth. Hector? Yes? Aren't you at the bottom yet? No, not quite yet. Is it much farther than Hector? No, 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 I'm almost there. Go on. Hector? Yes? Can you see the ball anywhere? No, but I soon will. A bit further. There's the ball. Hector, you all right? I hope nothing's gone wrong. Hector, answer me. Poor Hector. He has gone forever. Ah, got it. Oh, he's there. Thank goodness. Now pull me up. Pull me up to the top. Come on, that's him. Let's hurry. And Ooh. heave, and heave, and heave, heave. There, you're doing fine. Oh, me? What are you two doing up there? Oh, Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Pull hard. That's it. Good. You've got it now. Heave, ho. Heave, heave. A few more pulls and we're there. And here's the ball that I went down there to get at the risk of my life, lady. Well done, Mr. Hector. You really are the bravest dog I've ever known. Take it. Oh. oh. I dropped it. Oh, poor Hector. You'll have to go down and get it again. Oh, forgive me, Mr. Hector. I'm a big, kind old Hector. You're right there. Oh, Hector. But don't you push me too far. What is it? I've just woken up. Oh, I haven't. I want a bit more sleep, so leave me alone. Oh. Well, what am I supposed to do all alone? It's awfully boring. Well, do the same as me, Zaza. What did you say? Nothing. I'm asleep. Oh, all right, then. Don't worry. Go right back to sleep. I won't disturb you again. Besides, I have just invented a new game. Mm. I'm going to play it watching you while you're asleep. Yes, you do that. But don't just pretend you're asleep. Do you promise? Mm -hmm. Now, a sleeping dog should shut its eyes. I'll just check on that. Let's see. He's fast asleep, and both his eyes are shut up tight. Oh, what a sight he is. Oh. Now, suppose I block his nose up. Will he be able to go on snoring? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I think now I'd better examine his ear. Let's see. Hmm? Oh, there's a little hole. That must be how he hears. <laughs> Hector. Hector. It's rather funny he can't hear anything. Maybe he's suddenly gone deaf. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Poor Hector. What if he's really gone deaf? How can I find out? I can't possibly shout at him because I promise not to make any noise. I know. Just the thing. Oh, 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 you horrid cat. I might have known it was you. Now you've gone and woken up the frog. A fat oh. lot of good that oh. oh. Why were you shouting like that, Mr. Hector? Has something happened to you? I'll tell you what's happened, Mrs. Frog. Come here. Come and sit in judgment. I'll accept your verdict. It's a very well-known fact that frogs are impartial. And it's well known that dogs are lazy. Be quiet. I'll describe exactly what took place. Mrs. Frog can make up her own mind. Go ahead, please. Right, then. I was asleep. Ah, but I wasn't. If you keep interrupting us, I won't say another word. Right, I won't speak. So, I was asleep. And then Miss Zaza here, who wasn't asleep, not satisfied with waking me up the first time, then pulling my eyelids about, blocking my nose, and teasing me to distraction, suddenly blew so hard into my ear... It was like a hurricane sweeping through my head. Just you feel my heart. Palpitations. Tick tick, tick tick, tick tick, tick tick. Really, Mr. Hector, it's not so bad. A lot of fuss about nothing. Right. That's it. Since it's quite obvious that everyone's against me, I've nothing more to say. He's very angry. Do you think so? There he is. <laughs> Oh, this looks serious. All right. We shall see what we shall see. We'll see if a decent old Hector like me is going to be messed about by these wretches. What's he doing? I wish I knew, Kiki. And me too. It is not a pretty house, it's a kennel. It's my kennel. So now, when I feel like asleep, I withdraw to my private apartment and Miss Saza won't be able to disturb me again. Oh dear, are you still angry with me, dear old Hector? No, all is forgiven. Ah. I'm a big, easy-going old Hector. <laughs> One last push. Don't just go. Don't let it go. Uh, uh, over to the right. Uh, oh. That's it. Uh, uh, never mind, it doesn't tip up now. No. Oh, uh, 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 we're almost there. That's it. Now we've done it. Perfect. Oh, your kennel's heavy. Yes, but it's well built. Well now. You must decorate it. Decorate it? You know, paint some pictures on it. Flowers, a few birds. Oh, later. Right now, I'd like a nap. You don't mind my leaving you, I hope. Oh. And so to bed. There's no window. You suffocate. Oh, no. Look at this. I've planned it all. I've invented a new system for air conditioning. There. Oh, can I have a look? You see, it's very cosy. It's black as pitch in there. Well, of course it is. It's meant for sleeping in. <laughs> All right, Hector. We see what you mean. You're very sleepy. Good night, Hector. Good night, Mr. Hector. Good night. And now what are we going to do? 
Hector doesn't care about us. He's being very selfish. He's asleep. Leaving us wide awake. Shall we go for a trip in the trees? Oh, yes. If you could help me up, or shall I go and get my ladder? <laughs> no. Don't bother about your ladder. Come on, Kiki. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Climb onto my back. I'm up. Hold on tight. Yes, yes. Hmm? <laughs> Here we are. This is marvellous. I can see for miles and miles. <laughs> Shall I go along the branch? Will it support me? Yes, it's quite safe. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, 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 be careful, Kiki. Oh. An apple. It's all right. He hasn't spotted us. We ought to get down, though. Yes, come on. But don't make a noise. Quicker, quickly. It's a bit difficult. I'm not used to climbing about in trees. Oh! <gasps> oh. Another apple. Oh, goodness. Come on, Kiki. Off we go. I won't get any sleep till I soundproof this kennel. But just for now, I'll move it a bit further away. <clears throat> What are you doing, Hector? Moving already? Yes. I think it'll be better here. I'll just go and get a bit more straw. It'll be more comfortable. <laughs> mm. It's really very nice inside. Yes. I'll go and get a cushion. A cushion? Oh. Oh, she's right. It's very nice inside. But hard. There. With my little cushion, I'll be really nice and snug in this kennel. Oh, I think I'll have a little nap. Taza! What about Mr. Hector? Oh, oh what's that? Oh. Mr. Hector! Oh, yes. There. I'm going to sleep like a log, and I shan't wake up till Christmas. I say, Mrs. Frog, could you give me a hand? <coughs> What's this, then? I think it's Miss Zaza. I can see only too well it's Miss Zaza. Oh, I'll show her. Oh, Mr. Hector, Mr. Hector. What? Uh, what is Mr. it? Mr. Hector, don't you think she looks charming when she's asleep? Well, that may be. But me, where do I sleep, then? Uh, there. Now, how's that? You'll be very comfortable there. You see, you can make a lovely bed with this straw. All right, right, I give in. I might have known she'd work her way in there somehow. So you're, you're going to let her sleep? Yes. And you're going to lend her your kennel? Yes. Oh, you're so kind. You're a kind old Hector. Oh, yes. I'm a big, kind old Hector. Oh. Too kind. Mrs. Frog, you've got a seat to fit you at last. <laughs> Will it hold me? Oh, it should hold an elephant, my dear. Mm. Oh, there's an eel. What's that? Uh, there. Oh, yes, and I haven't got my pliers. I'll go and get them for you. They're in my workshop. You'll find them in the second drawer on the right. All right. That's in the drawer next to the bench. Yes. Careful you don't upset things. No. She's very sweet. I am fond of Kiki. The first drawer on the right, he said. Ah, oh, this is Mr. Hector's workbench. Here's his big vice. Little boxes. Full of little boxes. Hmm, there's his nails. There's his tools. His saw. Hmm. Oh, what on earth is that? Hmm. Now that would make a pretty hat. I'll just try it on. Mm, very smart. 
She's a very long time getting those pliers. She must have got lost amongst all your old junk. It isn't old junk. Hmm. Yes, now that would make a very nice berry. Hmm. A bit too dull. Hmm. Unusual. Hmm. Not bad. Mm. <laughs> oh, I just love pop art. I'm beginning to get worried now. I'll go and see what she's doing. Poor Kiki. I do hope nothing's happened to her. <laughs> Quickly, Miss Saza! Miss Saza, come here! Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh, just you come and look at this. Oh, you'll never believe it. What is it? What on earth the matter, Hector? There's a funnel walking. Oh, well, you frightened me. For a moment I thought something awful must have happened to Kiki. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? I've just seen a big funnel walking. What do you mean, walking? Walking like you and me, walking on his two back legs. Well, funnels haven't got legs. I know that. <laughs> at least I thought I did. But then perhaps I'm just dreaming. Hector! Hector, look down there. What's wrong? Well, the funnel. I can see it, too. <laughs> oh, it's too much. Where's it going? Oh, oh, it'll drown itself if it doesn't watch out. Oh. It's going to drown itself, I tell you. Oh, it swims terribly well with a bit of fun. Oh, oh yeah. it's amazing. It stopped, and now it's wiggling. Oh. I must get out, I must get out, I must get Did out. Did you hear that? Oh, yes. Oh, I can breathe the blood. There's something underneath it. Leave it to me. Oh. No, oh, Kiki. Oh, Kiki, what are you doing here? What's been happening? You'll be angry. No, we won't. Mr. Hector, you'll be angry with me. Of course I won't, Kiki. Come on. Tell us. I'm too fond of hats. <laughs> All right, you're too fond of hats. So what happened? Well, you see, I wanted to make myself a hat with a funnel. But the funnel swallowed me right up. <laughs> That'll teach you not to fool around with my things. Oh, yes. All the same, I can't just ignore what you've done. <laughs> no entry for cats. Uh, <laughs> What's he up to now? I wish I knew. <laughs> That'll teach her. Or frogs either. No entry for cats or frogs either. I'm a great big cautious old Hector. Pretty hard. Some odd jobs. Can I give you a hand? Oh, I'm afraid you're too small. Oh, well, I'm afraid you're too fat. I'm not a bit fat. I'm just strong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Hector, look how funny she is. Just, just look at Zaza. <laughs> well, I don't find that funny, rolling about there. Oh, look at her. Look at what she's doing. I don't see what's so very extraordinary. It's just a, a cat playing with a cotton reel. <laughs> but look how clever she is. Oh. Well, is that more useful than mending the house? Oh, oh it's so hot. Look, and now la, she's got her la, sunshade la, la, out. La, 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 My la, goodness, Mr. Hector, look how graceful her movements are. You have to admit, Mr. Hector, she's very graceful. It's not very difficult to go strolling and strutting along with a sunshade on your shoulder. If I'd got one of those, you'd soon notice the difference. Wait a bit, and I'll show you. Do you think I could borrow your sunshade for a minute, Miss Zaza? Oh, what do you want to do with it? You just watch me, and I'll show you. 
<laughs> there, what did you think of that? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I didn't do the whirly gig bit. <laughs> There. Have I managed to convince you? Now, Hector, would you please tell me what you are doing with my sunshade? Mr. Hector was merely trying to prove he can walk about with your sunshade just as elegantly as you can. But that sunshade doesn't suit you one tiny bit, Hector. You see, if you carry it at the back there, then your nose, as it's so big... And handsome. <laughs> then your nose isn't properly shielded. Mm. But if you carry it further forward to protect your nose there, then the back of your head is left uncovered. Mm. That sunshade isn't meant for Hector. Let's face it. I'll grant you that, but that still doesn't mean that I'm not graceful. This sunshade just doesn't suit my kind of gracefulness. You can have it back now. <laughs> I don't want it, thank you. I'm going to play in a tree. All right. Enjoy yourself, then. What am I supposed to do with this sunshade? La, 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 la. Oh, look at her. Oh. Why, what is it? Oh, just look at her going up that tree. She's climbing just like a little squirrel. Oh, I've had just about enough of this cat. She's as graceful as a queen. She's as nimble as a squirrel. It's time I showed you just how quickly I can climb. I'll be right up at the top of that tree before you even know what's happened. <laughs> we'll soon see how long this cat imagines she's going on laying down the law in my garden. Not much further. I've done it! Oh, have you hurt yourself, Hector? Oh, poor old Hector. Oh, I'm all right. But what exactly do you think he was doing up that tree? He wanted to prove to me that he was as nimble as you are. Really? Yes. That's not reasonable, Hector. Oh, no, just look at that snail. He's laughing at you. <laughs> what for? He doesn't try to fly, does he? What about fish? Do they go for walks, then? They don't. That's the way nature arranged it all. Creation plays its part. That's why birds should keep on flying. If they walk, they'd soon lose heart. Every cat is neat and graceful, light of foot and sharp of eye. Every frog is born with flippers, which is why we cannot fly. Every dog is good at hunting, loves to guard the family house. But although he barks so bravely, he's too slow to catch a mouse. That's, That's the way the nature wants it, so a dog can't be a cat. If we're wise, we will our blessings and be satisfied with that. And be satisfied with that. Hooray! Well then, I'm satisfied with being a big old Hector, not a cat. Then. Why are you leaning against that tree? Because I'm bored. Would you like to play a game with us? Yes, I'd love to. Would you like us to teach you our new song? You know. Would you like to go for a walk? No. Would you like to have a go on my swing? No. What about my weather game? Would you like to play the weather game? No. Mm. That's all I can think of. You tell us what you'd like to do. Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to play hide and seek. Oh, that's a good idea. Why didn't you say so at the beginning? Let's all play hide-and-seek. Mr. Hector. What's wrong? I've never played hide-and-seek before. Oh, it's easy. We'll soon teach you. Now then, first of all, you find out who's going to be it. Be it? The one who has to find all the others, he's called it. And the one who's it mustn't watch them. Mm -hmm. And while he's not looking, the others hide. Then the one who's it can turn round. And if you're not mm -hmm. very well hidden, he catches you. And then, when he catches you, you're it. And the one who touches the tree first is the winner. There. That makes me the winner. Oh, no. Not yet, Kiki. You have to hide somewhere first. Yes. I don't understand a word. Doesn't matter. You'll get the hang of it. Stand over there. We've got to dip. 
Now, ready? Yes. Good. Tim Pam Tosh, Paddy Whack and Pim Pam Posh, Dormy Knack and Dim Dam Dosh, and Hurry Zaza. Oh, I might have guessed. Now, why do you say that? Oh. I haven't cheated. Well, you know it's always me who's in. I'm sorry, Zaza, but I didn't cheat Hector's <laughs> honor. Oh, just for once, I, I'd have liked to be the one who hides. <laughs> You mustn't cry. I'll be it instead of you. Oh. Why, I rather enjoy being it. Oh, you're sure, Hector? Of course I'm sure if I say so. Oh. Now, I'll count up to 30. You go and hide. Oh. Go on, Kiki. We've got to hurry. I know a good place to hide in. One, two, three, four, five, six. What about seven, hiding just here? Eight, no, 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 no. Hurry nine, up. Follow ten, me. Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> Ah! Oh, this is where we're going to hide. He won't see us here. Twenty. One, two, three. Four, if Hector finds us, I'll five, try and get home first. Then he'll run after me, and all you have to do is to run behind him. Yes, yes, yes. Five, shush, shush, shush. Thirty. Thirty-one, the hunt's begun. Thirty-two, I'm after you. Thirty-three, I'm leaving the tree. One. Two, three, coming! Are you ready? Ready! <gasps> He'll see you! Get out of sight, quick! <laughs> Where can they be? Oh, I know where Miss Zaza is. She's in my kennel. She always hides in my kennel. <laughs> there he is. No, she isn't there. <laughs> 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 I'm going to catch you. <laughs> I'll have you both in a minute. Oh, home. You oh. didn't catch me this time, Hector. I've still got another chance. There is still Kiki, you know. Hmm? And uh, I don't think I'll have much trouble catching her. Home. Oh, where did you spring from? <laughs> we are well and truly beaten. I'm afraid you've lost, Mr. Hector. <laughs> so that means you're still it. Oh, yes, I'm still it. I am a beaten old Hector who's still it. think she'll come back. Who's that? Our neighbour, the frog. She may do. I really don't know. Well, I'd like her to come back. Shall I call her? Oh, no. That just isn't done. Why not? When I feel like seeing somebody, I just call them, and they come. <laughs> that may be fine for dogs. Frogs are different. Really? Oh, Mr. Hector. Kiki! Hello. Just look who's here, Zaza. It's Kiki. Oh. oh, hurry up, Kiki. We're waiting for you. Coming. <laughs> It's oh. nice to see her. <laughs> Here I am. Hello, Kiki. What a lovely garden. Thank you. I'd love to see over it. You're welcome. Ah, then, you must come and see my vegetable plot. If you'll just follow me. This way, Kiki. <laughs> just look at those leeks. They're first oh. class, tip-top condition. And I never let a snail or a slug get near them. And then ah. I've, oh, I've transplanted them, pruned them, trenched oh. them, watered them, sprayed them, fertilized them, oh. flavored them. <laughs> The flowers over here, they're much nicer to look at than all those old vegetables. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I've also... Where have they got to? Over here. Oh, what a pretty rose. Oh, well, I'm the one who planted it. I what? dug the hole. I put the fertilizer in. I... What's the name of this rose? This one? Well, uh... Oh, it's just a rose. Ah, oh, those pretty white flowers. Oh, I know what they are, of course. They're daisies. That's right. I'm fond of daisies. So am I. Oh, those climbers. Look at those lovely climbers. Hector, what are you doing? Coming, coming. I've picked this for you. There now. Oh, it's a necklace. Oh, wait a bit. Oh. Oh, it looks very pretty. Mm. Like
Like that, you look just like a queen. Thanks to you, Sir Hector. <laughs> Will you belong? Coming. And this one's for Miss Saza. For Miss Saza, the Queen of the May. Oh, oh. oh, oh Miss Saza, you can't imagine how beautiful you look. Now then, I'm going to pick a flower for myself. Oh? Let's see, a rose? No, much too fancy for a dog. A rose is a lady's flower. A chamomile. It's pretty, but it smells like shampoo. A carnation. That's just the thing. It's a very smart flower. Very tasteful. Very high class. Mind those thistles, Hector. Oh, oh yes. Mind those thistles. Watch out for those thistles, Hector. Those thistles can sting. Oh! Oh, oh, oh Hector! Oh, poor oh, Hector! Oh, oh, you hurt yourself, Hector. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Traitors, I cover you with flowers. I fall in the thistles and it makes you laugh. Don't you dare touch me. It's very bad manners to laugh at the misfortunes of others, Mrs. Frog. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. What's this I've got on my nose? I said don't touch me. Oh, Mr. Hector, please. Don't touch me, I said. Oh. I seem to remember hearing that thistles are very dangerous for dogs. That's true. I've heard that somewhere, too. First of all, they get bad tempered. That's bad enough. Then afterwards they go all savage. Savage? Mm. The thistles get under their skin. And end up by causing all sorts of nasty complaints. Well then, what are you waiting for? Instead of just chattering all the time about nothing, why don't you come over here and give me a hand at once? <laughs> We're coming, coming. At once, Richard. We're coming. One. Two. Oh, 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 I've got it. It's too deep. Someone help me with this one, Miss Saza. All right, all right, I'm coming for you. Stop it! That's my nose! What are you trying to do? Pull my nose off? Oh, Mr. Hector, I'm sorry. I thought your nose was a thistle. <laughs> a thistle? My nose doesn't look a bit like a thistle. It was just a mistake. I'm so sorry. I hurt you. Oh, Hector, you mustn't be no. unkind. She was only trying to help you. Oh, can't you see how unhappy she is? You've just got to forgive, forgive her. Forgive her. Forgive her. It's easy to see it's not your nose that's hurting. She didn't do it on purpose. Oh? Forgive me. Right. I forgive you. Forget it. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Hector. Thank you. There now. Oh, yes. I'm a great big generous old Hector. <laughs> As we drive back home today, our thoughts are still far away. In so many places, full of happy faces, we have had fun together. In fine and honey weather, there's a holiday at just an away. And so we'd like to be back there beside the sea. We have seen the sea, far as I can be. We have seen the waves breaking on the beach. We have seen the ships rocking on the deep. And on the way back home, we saw a lot of sheep. Oh, look at that. We're nearly oh. there. I can see our house. I can see the thatch roof. And I can see the big poplar trees. Oh. Well, ladies, shall we go? Yes, let's go. As we drive back home today, our thoughts are still far away. Well, that's it. That's the end of our trip, ladies. The holiday's over now. Oh, no more singing and laughing. I'll open the gate for you. Won't be long. Well, I'll get out too. I'm looking forward to stretching my legs. It's open, Hector. You can come in now. Don't let go of the gate till I'm through now. That's it. Thanks, Zaza. Poor Mr. Hector. He's not very pleased to be back. We'd better go and cheer him up. Oh, yes. But there we are, home and dry, all over.
Oh, the thought of being shut up in a house again doesn't appeal to me a bit. I say, Mr. Hector, isn't it nice to be back in your garden again? Oh, Mrs. Frog, my garden. Oh, but I think it's prettier than before we left. Well, I don't. Just look how much the flowers have grown, Hector. Yes, the grass has oh. grown as well. Look at that. The willow's nearly touching the pond. And the ivy's grown all over the wall, Hector. Ivy. Oh, and I can see the fish. Here's my dear old swing again. Oh, yes, your dear old swing. And our little watering can. Welcome at home. Oh. oh, yes. He's there, all right. And he's saying hello to us, Hector. I've never much cared for that bird, but I'm pleased to see him again all the same. <laughs> and there's your workshop. Aren't you pleased to come back to your workshop, Mr. Hector? You'll be able to make something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'll be able to make something. <laughs> we must hurry up and take the luggage in. Yes, would you give me my hat, please? There you are. Thank you, Zaza. <laughs> What a lot of happy memories we've got. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, lots of happy memories. And I'll put the guitar away. I can't seem to find it. I just can't seem to find it anywhere. Now, where's it got to? Where the dickens has it got to, then? No, it's not there either. I say, Miss Zaza, do you know where it's got to? What, Hector? What is it you're talking about? I'm talking about my seashell, of course. Oh, I've just found it there, oh. Mr. Hector. You see? Here it is. Oh, oh, my seashell. Oh, my seashell. No. Oh, there. I can hear the sea. Oh. Come on, Hector. This isn't the time for dreaming. You'll be able to dream and you're tucked up in oh, bed. Yes. You're quite right. Then tomorrow we'll all have to get back to work again. No more oh, holidays. Yes. Back to work for us tomorrow it is. I'm glad we've got souvenirs. They'll keep us cheerful for years. Snapshots of Hector. The well-known collector. I'll take my boat and ball. My hats will crown them all. Now that we know what to keep, we can all go to sleep. Oh, yes. And when we all go to sleep, do you know what we'll see? We will see the sea. Far as I can reach, we, we will, will see, see the waves breaking on the beach. We, we will see the ships rocking on the deep. That is what we will see when we are fast asleep. That is what we will see when we are fast asleep. <laughs> I'll say good night to you then. I think I'm going to sleep well. Good night, Kiki. Good night, Mrs. Frog. See you tomorrow. Good night, all. Time I went to bed as well, you know. I'll dream about our lovely holiday. And so will I. I'm a great big dreamy old Hector. <laughs> Oh, it's hot today. It's heavy, too. It's a relief to get back home again. Oh, oh I see there's Mr. Hector with the shopping. I wonder why he's ringing the bell when the gate's already <laughs> Because he likes to hear it ringing. <laughs> there, ladies, I brought you everything you asked me to get. Oh. Uh, right. Put your bag down on the chair, then, It Hector. is nice of you to do the shopping. Oh, I'm worn out. I don't understand why you walked into town. Why on earth didn't you go in your car, Hector? Oh, really, Zaza? Stop talking nonsense. You know as well as I do we turned the car into a fire engine. Oh, yes. And although you may not have noticed it, people aren't in the habit of going shopping in fire engines. You're right there. I say, Hector, mm. where are the scissors I asked you to buy? The scissors? Yes, the scissors. Aren't they there? I can't see them. No, oh, I must have forgotten them then. And where's my note paper, Mr. Hector? Didn't you get me the writing paper? What? Did you ask for writing paper? Oh, yes, Mr. Hector. And I even mentioned it three times. I said to you... Mr. Hector, now then, don't forget my writing paper. You sure? I'm absolutely sure, Mr. Hector. Yes, I heard. I her. don't remember a thing about it now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hector, but you'll have to go back to town yes, again. Yes, yes, uh, tomorrow. If you don't use your head, Mr. Hector, you have to use your legs. Don't use your head? What's that supposed to mean, then? Oh, well done, Hector. 
Why? It was only a way of saying you've got a bad memory. I've got a bad memory? Of course. I don't know how you've got the nerve to say a thing like that. And just to prove how wrong you are, I'm going to recite a poem I know from start oh, to finish. I dear. wandered lonely as a cloud oh, that right, floats on... Oh, right, that's fine, Hector. You win. You've got a good memory. You've proved Do you it. agree with her? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's good. I'm very glad to hear it, dear ladies. I'll just take my hat off first. He I knows it all by heart. Cloud that floats on high on vales and hills and all at once I saw a crowd and your home, your well, home, Hector? Uh, what's wrong? What about your head, Hector? What about it? I thought you said you were going to take it off. Yes, I did. Well, it's still on your head, Hector. Yes, it's hmm? still on your head, Mr. Oh, Hector. yes, so it is. So I forgot to take my hat off. What's that matter? Could happen to anyone. <laughs> I have to think of everything in this house. Not surprising, I forget a few things, is it? You need a forget-me-not, Mr. Hector. <laughs> forget-me-not? What on earth's that, a forget-me-not? Have you got a handkerchief, Hector? Yes, of course. Right, give it to me. <laughs> I never forget my handkerchief. <laughs> Mr. Hector's got a good memory. Please, Mrs. Frog, I can do without that. It's time you stop teasing me. <laughs> there, Hector, there's your forget-me-not. That's a forget-me-not? Well, yes, I've made a knot in your hanky so you won't forget that you've got to go shopping again tomorrow. So now? When you take out your handkerchief, you'll see the knot and know that you've got to do the shopping tomorrow. Yes, yes, this knot will certainly remind me. <laughs> this forget-me-not's a good idea. <laughs> Come on, Kiki. Hector? Hector? Yes, what? Don't you remember saying you'd mend my basket? Oh, yes, you're right. I'd forgotten that. <laughs> you can't remember everything, Mr. Hector? Oh, yes. From now on, I can assure you I'm going to remember everything. I'm going to make a lot of forget-me-nots and put them all over the place. You wait and see. If you give me your handkerchief, Mr. Hector, I'll tie a knot in it for you. No, no, don't bother. I've got a better system. If you could just hold that for me, Zaza. Oh, yes. And could you come over here, Mrs. Frog? Yes, Take yes. a label out of that box and follow me. Yes. Ah, first of all, I'm going to put a label on this brow rose huh? to remind me it needs pruning. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. There. Good. Oh. Right. I'll put another here on the front gate oh. to remind me to oil it. Oh. Keep squeaking. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Now then, let's see what's next. Oh, the bell. Label that. We need a new bell pull. Oh, yes. Ah, now, whenever we see something that needs attending to, we just put a label on it. There, Kiki. There. Paint my kennel. There. Green fly spray. Oh, ah. that's a good idea. There. Tidy my drawer. Oh, yes. Mend the wheelbarrow. Huh? Unblock the watering can. Yeah. Pick the pears. Oh, and above all, don't forget to put the ladder back. Etc., etc., etc. And a forget-me-not here and a forget-me-not there. I'm not sure it's such a good idea. Oh. Why is that, Mr. Hector? Just have a look round, that's all. We've put these forget-me-nots everywhere. Oh, I have yes. to remember this, I have to remember that. Yes. I mustn't forget about this, yes. mustn't forget about that. Oh, but Hector, old chap, that's why these forget-me-nots are so useful. <laughs> yes, and if this is how it all ends, I'd much rather I didn't remember anything at all. Oh, Mr. Hector. Because when I think of all the things I've got to do, I just get depressed. Oh. And I'd rather go to bed, so good night. Oh, but Hector, isn't there something else you've Oh, yes, forgotten? oh, yes, I'm awfully sorry. I nearly forgot to say it to you. I'm a great big old Hector saying good night.